Okay, great. So here we go. A couple more people coming in. What kind of guitar is that? Oh, Friedrich, very yeah. nice. Great. You're a lucky man. <laughs> great. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, whenever you like. <laughs> At least he knocked, or she knocked. There we go. Very good. Wonderful. Well done. Fabulous. Okay. Very good. Lovely playing. So let's go from the beginning and uh, work on all the details. I knew this was going to fall off. Hang on a sec. Now this has to go somewhere. Okay. Um, Let's talk about the first bit almost separately, right? Although, of course, they belong together, but still. Uh, you know, I think the, the, one of the important things through this is how we do the, the rhythm through this bit. Mm. Because sometimes your rhythm is strong, then it's a soft, you know, ba bum ba bum, bum. Mm. Yeah. I think it's better to choose one. Okay. You know, one that's going to work and keep it the same each time. You know, it's the, the structure is going to work because of this part. This is the improvised part. So we have, um, so the moment you go, and then improvised, uh, in, so, so what you did here, And 
you'll see that the piece kind of develops through it. And if your rhythm is perfect all the way through, I think it gives it more strength okay. because, because the structure is, it feels strong. Mm. You know? um, one of the ways you could think of it is you're looking at the building and the pillars are all perfect. <laughs> So the building looks good. And if one pillar is squint and the other one's squint, it doesn't feel good, even if you don't notice it, mm -hmm. right? I so understand. this is the, these are the pillars of your piece. And this is the ornaments between the pillars. So in some ways, what the people notice are the ornaments. This, this, the improvised bit. Okay, that's what's most noticeable. But what gives it strength is that part, right? Yeah, that's right? So that that's the way I would like you to think of this, right? Then we go down to the detail and how do we do it? Okay, you, the the little ornaments in between the well the uh, the little improvised parts. We need to work at each one to make sure that you're doing it the best way for yourself. Okay. Right. So why do you, why don't you play the beginning again? It was fine. There's no okay. problem with it. You know there are many different ways of doing that, but play it again. <laughs> okay. so you do. You know, um, I think that, that you have too many stop and start and stop and start, too many. Okay. Okay. Let's see, if you had only one or two, then they would be more important. But okay. towards the end here, I think it's, it's, it's not flowing. You flow so well. He so only one there. Uh Whatever, you know, so maybe one here and one there, maybe a smaller one here. But okay. it's, it gets too heavy at the end. Okay. You know, I know already because we go into this range of the guitar, it sounds heavy, mm. but it would be nice for it to, to sound a little bit lighter. All the stuff there. I did a different thing there. Oh, yeah. No. Whatever, you, yeah. you play you play the thing. Okay, can I stop you there? Yeah. Took too much time there. Okay. okay. Okay, so the other ones I loved what you did, and the other ones, let that one just happen, uh, you know, because you had one. You had too much time there. It's not, a, it's not a, okay. you know, in some ways you want to choose the bits that you think, this, this is an interesting, you know. Mm. I think this is just uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. let's say this is interesting. I think that one is interesting, but this one, it's not. Okay. Let it happen. Like. <laughs> how, how are you fingering? Can you go from here? This time your trill was much better. Let's just practice it. You know, sometimes when you're under pressure, we always try to do too many, you know, yeah. but it's, count them and you decide at home, I'm gonna have three. One, two, three, four, okay? One, two, three, that's yeah. enough. Okay. And then don't then some, do five in your concert, <laughs> you know, because it's, it won't work. So, um, um, <laughs> I think that's that's better. That's a better. One. I think it's a good one, you know. And it's strange because, right enough, you hear people who do the trills and things, and it sounds like well, it just came. The mm. best way is actually to decide what the best trill is and and practice that one, and don't let yourself do more mm. when yeah. you're under pressure. Yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. So now after we've done this, and 
um, C mm. me. That's really special. That's the first rhythm. Yeah. Okay, and that that says how we're going to do. So. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So do your trill diddly diddly on. Okay, that sounds strange to my ear, but I know it's because it's, it's because you, you because there's no e. Uh, what, what, um, it, it, for for me, it feels weird to have um, to have the, the seventh, the the um, fifth, the. Uh, um, I, I think. Anyway, you think about it. I know you've obviously have, and you've decided to have the B. It just it hurts my ear. Okay. And it's, it's only, you know, so I know I, I've played the piece, so of course I have my own decisions, have fighting, and I'm trying to understand yours. But let's, he, let's hear yours again. Do it again. Okay. Yeah, but so see, the, it's the, like the reason that, like, I'm. Really? Yeah, you're holding it, but then the first E is, is, is unimportant. Um, that one's the important one. It's, it must reach E. You know, the, the, what that says there is E minor, right? Um, uh, he's saying E minor to us. He's just kind of confirming the fact that we're in this key. Mm, yeah. So I think, it, I, I think when, when that comes there, it needs an E with it. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, for, for, or, or nothing. Um, uh, yeah. but, but no B for me. Yeah. Let's go on then. Anyway. Uh, okay, very good. Can you do it again? Okay. Uh, Kasper, how, how, how tight can you make that ornament? Because if you do this, if it's, if it's lazy, it, it doesn't have the power of the... Use two fingers. Uh, okay, other way around then. Try, try two, three. Maybe that's better for you. Okay. Yeah, now, 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 now we should ask ourselves. You know, when we do, there's lots of ornamentation here, so we we have to make our minds up, mm -hmm. right? Now, when you do this. What do the audience hear most? They hear the first G mm. and the second G. And the F, we don't hear it so much. But actually, the important note's the F. Yeah, sure. mm. it, it, the thing is, really, this is ornament. So the F is important, not the G. Mm. That's the problem with this ornament, is that the, the last, it's very difficult to get. Well, it's ugly, but it was louder, but it wasn't pretty. Yeah. That's why I would have done it like that. Yeah. Yeah, I understand. You understand? It's really because the ornament, it, it, when, when, it, when they play it on the harpsichord, the ornament makes that note stronger. Mm. When we do it on the guitar, it makes it weaker. If we do it like this, mm. it makes it weaker. So. Yeah. Anyway, so let's go on to the. Once more, just uh, um, le let's differentiate the kind of sound you're going to use. Is it, is it like, uh, imagine, imagine you have a soloist, like one person goes to going, and then the full orchestra. Yeah. Right. So, so make this more delicate. Don't make it strong. Yeah. Careful, that's too strong. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. Got it. Um, that was too strong. Yeah, that's right. Keep st you stay in that other, other mentality. You're a single person, lonely person. Yeah. Now, full orchestra. Okay. Right? <laughs> okay, it's, it was too much, but that's okay. Yeah. That's okay, but you understand the idea, really. Yeah. So we differentiate what happens here and what happens in the other thing. Mm. Let's continue. We have lots of things to talk about. Now. Mm. Very 
nice. Yeah, that was one. Um, um, can I have one of your notes? Okay. I'm a little bit flat. So after then so not too 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 slow, too too lazy. Yeah. So two that's better. Closer, closer. Could you could you imagine Yeah. If you can it's better just like you did those ones. Sort of not Yeah. yeah and double dot both of them if you're going to do it. Yeah? This one I know the very first one is quite difficult to do. Uh, Here, what I do is at least the bass note is going to come to yeah. so that they belong together. Sort of like that, yeah. You probably don't even need the B because. Uh, it, 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 like this. Any, any other finger? Yeah. Any other finger? Not not Tapoyando. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Any, any other finger, so that way I use this, I use M on, on these, th because you don't have to be very precise, but it has to be close enough to the double dot. If you double dot this one, it still has to have the same feeling. If not, it makes the second one heavy, heavy. You know, it's a... I'm keeping the, the feeling of double dot all the way through. That's what I like. Okay, so we go on from the, uh, that one. Very nice. Can I ask you, I know we talked about that. Can I ask you just to listen to that ornament as you play it? Just, just play it all together. That's better. As tight as you can, you know. I can't remember how we did it. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I'd I'd just don't make it lazy. Okay. It's not good. Yeah. yeah okay. Let's continue. <laughs> of the pillars in a building <laughs> and suddenly they're, they're all they're not the same mm, yeah mm, and yeah. Uh, the structure I, I see it now. <laughs> okay okay great then we, <laughs> then I don't need to push you with it right so you know if you go through this maybe you know this but I, I want to say it for everybody you know it's funny because Bach has given us something which he's done first after the first one okay this uh, okay now that little thing is really short right then it's a little longer then it's a little longer, but doubles up the end. Then he doubles the whole thing up. Then he doubles this one again, and he doubles up the end. See, so it's like that. But it's the same, with a little bit extra. Then it gets shorter, 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 shorter. So the, it's like the, the piece is kind of piling on top of itself. And the power comes from this rhythmic tightness, mm. right? It's not going to be from you playing loud or that. It's going to be from your, your good rhythm, <laughs> OK? And the, and the ornament's just as tight. This one is always a problem for guitarists because it's so fast. The, uh, that one there. How did you do it? 
Okay. That's pretty good, yeah. I did it with a uh, uh, I did it that one. Try that fingering as well. Uh, open E. Uh, yeah, and you can, you can do it all in one position. Uh, and it works. And then. Yeah. Yeah, I have to try it. Yeah. Okay, G give it some practice because the, the way you did it, it takes a lot of time. Mm. It doesn't matter because you could let the piece stop there and wait for a little bit longer. So you have. Um, which would be a logical way of making this not feel uncomfortable for the audience, mm -hmm. you know? But I, I feel, uh, you know, when you hear it on the keyboard, it's so easy for them, they go and it comes out, you know? But on, on our instrument, it's always going to be out. It's never going to be actually in the same tempo as this. Mm -hmm. it's, al it's almost literally physically impossible, I think, certainly for me. So, so my, my solution was to let the piece kind of stop there and then restart here and use this as a restarting it it's, works. Okay, shall we go on to the next movement? Okay. Let me ask you, you know, I know it, it's your choice because you've worked all the way through, but for me, the, the, the always slurring, the para para pam para pa ta uh, for me, it's, it's losing energy, it makes it very smooth. Okay. And uh, I'm not sure, it, I, I would prefer more articulation, um, like... And every time the entrance come, and the problem with the slurring is, it's, it's not it's not wrong or anything, but sometimes it's really quite uncomfortable, and you're making a lot of work for something that I don't think it's actually making it that much better. I think actually it hurts it. I think it makes okay. it makes it too too smooth, okay. and the the crispness goes away a little bit. I'm not going to ask you to change it today, but obviously you've thought about it, so your decision has been that. What I would like to do it would be to convince you to, to also learn to play it. And I, I would like more cuts, so on the, 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 the idea of doing this. So. You know, that little cut helps that second note. Well, it's the first of the bar. Right? And also, in, in, I know you will work at it as you go through it, but I would like for more, um, more interest on these offbeat things. Um, So when that voice does that offbeat thing, which comes at the end of every group, um, every phrase, he has that, um, da -dun, da -da -dun -bum, bu -bu, you know, so I would like to bring it out a little bit. Okay. It, I'm not hearing it from you. Okay. So let's, let's go from the top. Don't change the finger, you do the slurs <laughs> today. But, but it, when you get home, give us some practice and see how good you could make it without the slurs. And find out how smooth you could be because well, not because. You do it. Off you go. Yeah. Yeah, okay. You know, there's, there, there's a kind of guitar thing that happens that when we do slurs, we tend to play out of the notes, the first one quite loud. Uh, mm. 
right? Yeah, so. so I don't think they all need to be emphasized. Some, yes, but... Uh, so, so it should be like a crescendo through... Yeah. See, um, so I feel... Um, so, uh, the, so, so it, it'll move into the next bar if mm. possible. Right? Okay. Have a go. See what happens. I know it's difficult. Yeah. Okay, beautiful. Okay, fine, yeah. fine. That's right. Okay. So, so maybe we could. I don't want to mark anything in, but I want you to think. You know, each time. It, a new voice that boom, 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 yeah. right? We need a cut, and then you have the other problem when when Bach he finishes one voice, and then this other voice is is the middle voice. Uh, this is not actually the same as that voice, really. It's um, lower. So. Um, So, so we need to differentiate between that E and that E. Maybe this one accented, or this, or quiet, or whatever you want. So, wh how, why do we go from here? Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's it. That's good. Yeah, that's right. Exactly. Yeah, and some people do one open, the other closed, or you know, yeah. it doesn't matter. With it, your way, it was fine. That fingering that you did, absolutely no problem, right? Okay, shall we head on forward from there? Why don't we do more or less when the bass end comes in? So I'll just let you play a chunk. So go from anywhere there. Is that good? Okay. Okay, it's pretty good. You know, it's, there's nothing wrong with it. So I'm just thinking, okay, what things would I like to make it better, right? When we do slurs, our rhythm is not as good. Mm -hmm. You know, our, it, we're, we're, we're not exact like when we had, we're more exact, you know? And also, if you're plucking a whole lot with a thumb, these are two things, you know? I did it like that. Let's see if I can show you how. Uh, um, I can't, can't remember it all. I don't play the piece anymore, but I played it. I played it last year. So, uh, so I, I, I don't want to do too many. Sometimes you have no choice. I don't want to go thumb, 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 thumb because somehow that makes us heavy, you know, and. Um, we're always lighter when we when can you do that? Yeah. Okay, so practice and see how many of those you can put in. Yeah. Yeah, it's better. It's, it's, uh, so that would be Oops. etc. Right? Yeah. And so I'm, at least here, I would insist, get rid of the slurs. The other ones don't. So here, you're doing it very beautifully. Here, it just sounds lumpy. Yeah, lumpy. Yeah. Okay. Asteroids. Let's go on now. Okay. Uh, anywhere, anywhere you like. Uh, so I think here, I, I would like this to be tighter, and then this super smooth. So we have. Um, more smooth, more lyrical, if you like. Yeah, I'm yeah, trying to change no, it. No, no, don't, don't do it today, <laughs> Casper. It's not... practice that a little bit, yeah. right? I think especially with the slurs, it's so hard to do that. Uh, what are you going? Uh, that one there. 
Um, go. Yeah, it, it's, no, it's not very convincing, you know. I feel that, right enough, you know, when Bach wrote all those notes, we're going to play them all, in theory, okay? Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's more important to give the a good feeling rather than to give a feeling of someone struggling to mm. get every note that Bach wrote. There's another way to do that is... Okay, so it goes those two, these two, and then these two, yeah, okay. and then this. Yeah. Okay, so there's a D missing in that chord. But that was going to care. We're, instead of this, we've got this. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, and harmonically, it's going to work dead straight. So it goes, uh, uh, and so on, right? Okay. Uh, you know, so I think you should consider that. Again, it's this thing here. And either just that note or if you wanted the D. It, it, I think it's cleaner that that whatever you do there rather than the um, that one, mm. right? Which, right enough, you know, some people that have super fast fingers can make it work, but I feel that most people this bit doesn't sound great, mm. and it's a pity because it's actually musically really bright. You know, Bach has given us so much there that I think it's it could be better, right? So let's leave that and let's go forward to this little bit here. Can you go from? Anyway, anyway. Okay. You know what I feel is that when I hear you play that bit, um, I f it feels very heavy because I, I can hear. <laughs> you understand what I mean? It's a, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there some way that you could lighten it up? You know, sometimes if you cut one of them, it, it's, it'll work better. So. You know, this is a hemiola where you, you're counting yeah. one, two, three, and it goes one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, right? So why don't we make strong, weak, and definitely... Yeah. Okay, that's better, right? Uh, yeah. And can I see here what you're doing there? Okay. Uh, you know when you, when you roll the chord, you lose time. Um, if you, that means that the trill is kind of late. You know, yeah, do it do it straight. Like, um, okay, right. Um, uh, I, I did it across the strings there. Uh, like that one, right? So. Um, I can't remember. Right. The, the advantage of the is that it's so easy to join those two and not. Right. Yeah. So sure. why don't you just try just just do one. And then three. Yeah. yeah it's, it's already there. Still, you're going to dum bum. It should be da dum. That's it. That's it. There you go. So practice that so that we get into the G chord without stumbling or without the feeling of fighting through thick yeah. mud. Yeah, <laughs> you you understand idea. what I mean? It's, I think it's now. I understand that you say, "Yeah, but Bach wrote four notes there." Well, okay, but you know he, he didn't write it for this instrument. Mm, you know, true. so uh, four notes. What, what's better, have the four notes and have bad rhythm, or have three notes and have good rhythm? Well, honestly, I think three notes and good rhythm is mm. better, as long as you don't take out the wrong note. You know, there are certain notes that have to be there. Uh, we don't need the A. Uh, we, you don't actually. And here you need. Oh, you need. Uh, everything's there. You don't need the other G. 
doesn't, yeah. that isn't, it's no... It doesn't come anywhere. So it, it's, that's right, it's not, harmonically not necessary. So that says it, and then... So consider, when you're, when you're doing the piece, consider what's going to make it musically right, not simply because he wrote all of those notes. Okay? okay. Let's go on from there. I'll let you, let you go to the end this time, and then we talk. Okay. Lovely. Remember to cut there. Well, uh, if you cut there, then it, it'll it'll emphasise the one two one two. Very nice. Okay, Catherine, just be careful. Like, if you're going to roll, try to roll without losing. So. If you roll there, it's okay, but there it's not okay. So we have, um, you, but not, um, not yeah, there. You understand yeah. what I mean? It's a, I, I because so so, let let you when you do roll chords, make it make it help the piece, not hurt the piece. So that that means we choose which ones to do it in, so which would be good. Yes, no, yes, no, yes, and then there. okay. So it could if you wanted to roll. Will be okay, but um, no. Yeah. Okay, I, it's easy to say, but I just, the hand does things for us, mm. <laughs> right? Okay, let's do that bit again. But uh, where did the, uh, we did it from there? Yeah. Okay, now, I, I was going to say. You could uh, what, what we're talking about now. We could we should apply to the very beginning. Yeah, that's true. Um, but uh, let's try this. Uh, why don't you make one bar stronger and one bar weak? So, what's this? Uh, see, so the, the bars that resolve, let's do it with the very beginning actually. So, uh, strong and gentle, strong and gentle, strong, strong. So, and you'll notice that. There's going to. It doesn't always work, but in in three eight bars, instead of making every one every bar line strong, it's better to get off some of them. So let, why don't we try that? And you're going to go strong, gentle, strong, gentle, just a little bit. Okay, okay let's try again and use the the semiquavers. The uh, to take you to the strong one and to take you to the gentle, uh, gentle at the end, right? So, yeah. right? You want to try? Yeah. Ah, that's good. Okay, you, you've understood it perfectly, right? So let's try to apply it here. Um, Let's follow the bottom then. Something like that, yeah? You try? Uh, maybe. Yeah, much Okay, fantastic. So, okay, the, obviously, if you do take away the slurs, that will make a big change, mm. you know. So, experiment with it and see how. Yeah. I'll try it. Yeah. Let's go on to the next movement. Yeah. Okay. The element.
Well done. Great. OK, beautiful. So can we just talk a little bit about the ornaments? Because it's the part, you, you know, in general, I'm enjoying what you're doing. But some of your ornaments are they're good ideas, but they're not working mm. well enough. Sure. OK, so let's talk about the very first one that you do there on the second time round. Just, just play it and then. Uh -huh. If that happened every time, then it would be okay. Yeah, I would make it happen every time. <laughs> because you know what? What was important is that that, that, that one you did just now, the last B, um, did you do A? Yeah. The last B was stronger or as strong as. Yeah. Right. Now, I decided to do, when I did that one and, and some of the others that you do, um, I just do it on two strings because. Because if you do it like that, you can control how the last note comes out, mm. you know, which is, you know, we don't have to imitate the harpsichord, but we have to learn from them. Mm. And if you want to do one that's really going to work, I mean, if, okay, um, let, let's, let's see how you're doing. Do it again, your one. Yeah, okay, so I'm kind of worried because it's on to four. Um, yeah, it's because I want to. Yes, I, I understand, yeah. Uh, and. I'm just wondering if you could get three to land on it. Uh, yeah, it might be, you know. Consider also. Uh, Practice that one as well, right? I, I did it with A sharp, but it doesn't matter, that's a choice. You know. But it doesn't matter, both, both are acceptable. Um, now, I want to try something else that, that, that's happening to you playing, and it happens all the way through, and I think it's something that's making it not as fluid as, as you as you want, if you like. And it's this thing of, after you've played the important note, when the next notes come, the, the lower voice, or whatever, you're almost always a bit late. Um, okay. So, bum, bum, was late. Bum, bum, bo, three, four. One, two, three, four. Too late. If, if, you, if you divided yourself into two people, th this person wouldn't be late. Yeah, that's true. You know, if, if we were playing a duel, and my turn was... If every time I'd, I came late there, you'd say, hey, play in time. Because you, you did it there, there, and all over the place, this thing. Now, that doesn't mean that you can't do a rubato. You know, if you go and you, you come in a little bit late there, that's OK, you know? But I would, there are places where it's comfortable. But when you do it on accompanying notes, better be in time. Yeah. Um, <laughs> See, so everything that accompanies, like do re do do, um, do that. Don't start late because you want to start the next phrase a little bit late anyway. You know, that do 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 um, You want to be delay it. It's nice. You did already, so that don't change that. But if you have one rubato here and another one there, it's yeah, just too much. much. Too much happening. You know, it, it's stopping the flow. Right. So let's go from the beginning, and when when one of those comes up, we talk about it. Okay. Right. You just play it your way, but maybe try to join it a little bit closer. Do I take with the ornaments? Or? If you like, yeah. Why not? Because you know, when you did it without the ornaments, y you played with more fluidity, mm. and when you played it with the ornaments, uh, your mind was a little bit more on the ornaments, perhaps. Yeah. So why don't you do it? Do it once without the ornaments. Okay. Then we talk about this subject and then we work on the ornaments. Okay. Yeah. Nice, very nice. That's 
perfect, perfect. Just think of all of these accompanying things, that, which you did perfectly now, just but kind of with diminuendo through them. Uh, okay. So, so they, do, they create the harmony. Now, don't think of that as strong, but getting so. Yeah? Okay. Oh, once more. It, it was fine. It was, that was perfect now. So let's try again. Yeah, maybe the two Bs, the second B is more important. It's not, no, it's... Da -dum. Yeah, that's too much, yeah. It's easy to get it because it's... Perfect. you, is it possible for you just to scrap that slur that you do in the middle? Uh, yeah. That one. Yeah, just exactly. Flow the same way as everything else. That slur suddenly stands out. And I'm, not, I'm not against slurs or anything. It's just that as you play mostly almost campanella, when you suddenly do the slur one, it, it just suddenly sounds different. Okay. Whereas if, you're, if you play this the way some people play it with, with, with a... If you did that, then this would just, it would join in easily. But I think with your interpretation, it doesn't help. Yeah. Let, let me just, let me try a, a little idea before I forget. Could you just do this ending? Sure, try this fingering. Three, one, two, three, four. Yeah, no, don't, don't shift, right? Leave one two down again. Yeah, leave leave one two there. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Will you remember? That's better. It, it, it's there's no movement, so there's no squeak. So there you go, and then move three over. There you go. Yeah. That's it. Okay. I think it's, best, it's worth doing it. Let's go into the, the, actually, let's do with the ornament. I want to help you with that a little bit. Fantastic. Okay, so let's let's work. The first one we already spoke about, so yeah. I know you're going to work at it. And because you're doing all of this campanella playing, I think you should just do that on two strings and, and not worry, right? Yeah. It's going to be easier. And because when you do the ornament, I want you to still remember the uh, this guy underneath whatever our B came out, you know? So if your B is really gentle, um, you need to be quieter than that. Right? Now, do from the one that you want to... Uh, whatever you did there. Okay, now, listen. Uh, 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 not, now, after, not loud. See, um, the same idea, whereas... Exactly. So this, this do, 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 accompanies that, that flow. Do that again, the... Um, uh, Whatever you did. Uh. Yeah, I see it. Uh, you see, you're really late yeah. on, on the. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, I that have makes sense, that right? Before, well, uh, now that you've noticed it, then I don't need to talk to you anymore. <laughs> because it, it, once you catch it, you'll, you'll see how many times you were doing the ornament and then going on with the piece. And so the, the ornament was, was not really helping your piece. It was, it was hurting your piece. Not because the ornament was good or bad. It's because of the way you shaped it after, mm -hmm. right? The problem there is that you finish the ornament with the thumb. Um, uh, and then you... Yes. But you just practice it, you know, and make sure that... Perfect. 
Shall we continue then from there? Okay, can, can we do the da da di da 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 da? Can you do it here? Okay, I, w I want you to consider something. You know, normally these ornaments were supposed to, the, the kind of rules were, okay, you start from the upper note. But, you know, let me just find a... When you do it on two string, uh, it, you, you can make it happen much quicker. Because uh, when, when you have to go, uh, yeah, it, it steals Next a time. lot of time, you know, and it, there's not much time there to do it. So I would consider just doing, yeah. and it's perfect, yeah, okay. right? It's, uh, the other one that you did, yeah, or something like that, that, that was perfect, that's no problem, because there you're kind of basically doing a kind of redoble type of ornament. That works fine. I'm more concerned about those little ones that you put in. They, they're taking too much time, and so that, again, the flow is broken. Mm. Okay? okay? We're going to have to stop, so I just want to kind of say one or two general things. Okay, okay for you. Um, I want you to practice that like you have a strong sound and be, very big sound, so it sounds a little bit too thick. Okay. I want you to think of how to make your playing sound lighter. Okay. Right. So it doesn't mean to play quieter or something. I think sometimes it maybe sounds a little bit heavy, partly because of this rhythm, these rhythmic breaks. Right. Your rhythm is could be tighter or smoother, whatever the word is. It doesn't matter. But I think that way you're going to be a better musician when you improve that side. Don't be afraid of going thinner in the bass end. You know, your sound on the treble is fantastic. The sound in the bass on your guitar is also on mine. It's too fat. Okay. for a lot of this kind of music. So our temptation to, to do that, that kind of, or, um, uh, use, use a kind of bass note that doesn't jump forward <laughs> so much, yeah. you know, and, or simply quieter, you know, just don't be afraid to reduce that because in both movements, your bass end is really strong. I mean, okay. it's not ugly, but it's just extra strong. And, you know, sometimes the balance between how much bass, how much middle, and how much treble, uh, it defines the feeling you give. Mm. Right? And in your concert, you're going to have pieces that will be more suited to bassy playing, mm. and other pieces that are more suited to actually more trebly playing, and I think, I think especially, especially this movement, you, you want to be more trebly and less bassy, even though there's this big bass bit, but uh, I would like that, and not, not that heavy thumb yeah, feeling, yeah. right? Yeah, so, so, you know, work in, in that direction. The, ne the other thing is, when you do the ornaments, they are still, uh, you've got a lot coming in, you're doing a lot of them. Uh, make sure that every ornament actually adds to the piece. It doesn't take away. Mm. You know, it's, uh, sometimes we get uh, excited about doing all this extra. You know, it might be worth it. As you know, for, from a s studying music point of view, yeah, of course, of course it's worth it. But just think of the average person that comes to listen to you, and they're going to hear all those notes. Does it really make it better? Mm. You want to be careful. Make sure that whatever you do, it actually makes it better. That's why it's better than that one. Because the, the shorter one doesn't hurt the line. Mm -hmm. yeah? That's true. Good playing. Okay. Well done. Thank you. Great. Right. Thank you very much. Fantastic. <laughs> Lovely. Great. We didn't get to the Quran, which is super difficult uh, yeah. in the, to there for the, the ornamentation, but it's a lovely piece. The, the whole thing yeah. is just fantastic to play. Great. Would you like to come? You know, you're welcome to ask questions. I know I didn't give much room while he was talking, but if there's any, at any moment you want to ask a question, just go ahead. Yeah. So. Yeah. Excuse me, I'm going to take my sh jumper off. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, getting warmer and warmer. Hello, how are you? What's your name? Sakari. Uh, Sakari. Yes. Okay. Catalonia. Here we go. I yeah. guess. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Great.
Go ahead. Okay. Wonderful. Okay, okay. It's a difficult piece, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> a lot of a lot of super hard bits in it, right? Yeah. Anyway, so we'll we'll make it better. Let's let me just tune with you, and I want to find my version as well. So there's just a couple of couple of suggestions in terms of the arrangement. Yeah. small suggestions anyway so but let, let's go from the very beginning and see how we can make everything as th this was fine really but let's do it again just to get into the mood yep. yeah okay you know the i don't know if the audience are going to hear yeah. i think it would be nicer if could, could you do it once more? Go, go from there. Yeah, that's a, that's a little bit lazy. Um, do, do the not. Don't be lazy on. Yes, that's right. You know, the the reason for the room is to give it like a, a feeling of a small accent. And so on, yeah? You, once more, okay. I think I used to play the C sharp. But it doesn't matter. That's good. You know, when you, when you do the slur, can I, can I see you just do that? Make sure that when you put the three down, the one goes down. That's it. It's more secure if you think. Think of actually the one almost going down first. Because if, if the three goes down, you're trying to do two things together. Yeah. Okay. Let's go on now.
can I, can I ask you, be, be extra careful with the dum da dum how you go. You know, the, 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 your rhythm of the... Sometimes it was super fast, sometimes it was a little bit lazy. Try to make that as exact as possible. How? You know, that's right. So when, I, when I do it, uh, uh, well, this or similar things, I want to decide, am I going to do MI or IM? And try to do the same, because every time. And you find which, which is best, just go IM. And then MI. Maybe take, take the other fingers off. Uh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, because you won't be able to, you won't have any other fingers down for that. Uh, so M, M I seemed pretty good for you. Yeah, okay, so. Okay, and you know, in your score, we should, we should mark it down. We're gonna say, we're always gonna do M I. I mean, we've decided just now to do M I. If, if later you say, well, um, I am was better, mark it in, you know, but, M I or I M, you know, you know, you, you decide, but because you're mixing them, so how are we going to do this one? Go from there. From. Okay, yeah, that's right. So, so we kind of like always make them the same. There you go. Let's continue now. Go from the tune, and then we talk about other things. a bit heavy, a bit lazy. Dum ba dum bum. The one that go. Um, do that one. Uh, uh, go from before if you like. That's better. You, you can be you can be late on you can be late on the final chord you know if you're late there it's okay if you're late just to there it's not good that's better nice can I tune with you give me a B chord Of you, so okay. Um, let's let's talk about another thing before we go through the rest of the piece. I just wanted to settle a few ideas. That that was one of them was important. Now, play the tune from the beginning again, and then we talk. Okay, I'm I'm going to do what you're doing, but exaggerate it, right? You, the single note, you're playing it louder than the chord. You're playing this. Now. Often when, you, when you're playing kind of more baroque music or something, that's sort of like the big upbeat feel, uh, you know, it's okay to do it. But I think here it, it's breaking, uh, see it makes this sound stronger and this weaker. I, I want this. Right, so. Um, So that you get up to the top, not dum ba dum ba dum. Yeah, you try. Okay, right. Can you make the high note the most attractive? Maybe even even a little vibrato. Are you doing this thing here? Can you get a little vibrato on it? That's better. Okay, let me just, <laughs> I'm gonna find mine. Uh, composers, Albeniz, do I see Albeniz? Which one is in? There it is. Yeah, okay, just, just so that if we need to talk about differences, but I think it's, yeah. 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 
Yeah. You, you were doing that, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, okay. Just try it sometimes with the one. Like this. One note. And that's it. Yeah. No, no, no. Three, four. But yeah, and one instead of two. Okay. Right? Just practice that to see. Because, you know, sometimes when something is super easy, we play it better. Mm. You know, we, we, if, if, and if it's a little bit, a little, uh, this is a bit uncomfortable, that chord. And it's a pity, but it's, that maybe that's why it's not coming out as clean. Yeah. So let's go on now to the. Um, another note in there it's just another another doubled up the B yeah yeah and it doesn't matter so let's go on Shall we go? lovely okay very good take it come cook um When you do when you do that bit the dom bom bom let's can we, can we go from there yeah yeah it's it's not it sounds rhythmically not so strong yeah listen to mine so so uh go from So you, you're, lo you're losing a note in that one there. It should be... Yes. That's it. Okay, try that. Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to, and you've got it marked in already. Where's my pencil gone? You've already got a circle around it. Yeah. <laughs> but check it out because it's... A, it, so... I'll put big two three on it, two three one, and a big circle around it. Dr means that that's from David. <laughs> okay, <laughs> just ho hopefully you'll check it out. You know, I know, I know you're doing it off from memory, so so it's sometimes it's difficult. You want to go back to the music and you're not used to it, but but change that. Make sure that you're using that. Okay, shall we go on from drum? This is a repeat. <laughs> okay, dum, dum, dum. let's go into the next bit. Yeah, and then. I want to help you there, okay? Um, when you went up to do the your fourth finger, the, the first two times you went, you didn't quite reach there, right? So make sure that you go, uh, let's see. I'm just looking for another fingering that might be. Um, you know. This is Manuel Barueco's fingering, right? And he's got his fingers just do anything he wants. So it, he's chosen that, right? Which is the one you did, right? Um, can you show me? Okay. It's much easier. Watch this. Do that. Now put covering, covering two, only two notes. Yeah. No, no. And then, okay. That's it. Practice that, okay? Will you remember it? You know, this this comes round. I'll, I'll just do that for you, and it's going to be one, and then four, two and then four, going back, okay? That's, I'm gonna put that that's DR again. 
<laughs> so you know, you know, the, it, this this fingering is a, it's an interesting subject, really. Is that when you need to shift, uh, uh, you need to do that. But then you think it's better always to change after the longest note, which is the longest note. This one, short, long, long change. Right. So what I'm doing is I'm changing after the long note. Because if you lose a little bit of the long note, that is, you cut a little bit, it doesn't matter. But if you cut a bit of the short note, it really matters. That there is much more difficult than... Right? In, although at first, when you're learning it, you, it, we all think in kind of squares. We think of... Right? We think like that, but actually he wrote... It's going to work better, right? Yeah. But it's a general, it's a general rule, if you like, or a theory of fingering mm -hmm. that change after the longest note, if possible, mm -hmm. change position. Okay, should we go on? <laughs> Zach, don't worry about it today. Okay, you remember it, but there you go. Do you find it easier already? Yeah, I think it's easier. Yeah, and you, even without practicing, yeah. it's easier. Okay, so of course it will work. Yeah. Okay, so how about from the? Uh, how do you do that? Can you do it? Ah, I see. There's no B, there's no G. It's a... No, not... No G. That's better, that's better. Okay. No G. Okay, just to remember. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but it's always better. To, why play more? <laughs> it doesn't need it. Actually, I, I would have done it with a... I don't know if I have a finger in my own version, but... Yeah, I just fingered it with a bar. Um... Okay, can you just do that change? Run da da wa. Okay, so we yeah. I'm looking for it. I'm looking for it. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's it's easier just to play a G. Uh, uh, sorry, a B right right there on that chord. Um, you know, the, there's a B in that chord, and then scrap the G, and so you you just put down the two, and you go like this. Yeah. Okay. And then in this chord, I'm going to suggest. Uh, see, this is this. That's what's written yeah. in here. I'm going to suggest this. Yeah, because when you, like, um, with, with you, I was asked, saying, OK, take one note out. If you take the wrong note out, you're not saying what the chord is. That is, if you do this, you're not telling the audience, or, or you're not telling the listener that it's a C minor. You know, this one, it's got all the notes, because you've got a G in it anyway. There you go. So, so that's what it should be. Right, um, with it. Right, so it's better to go. Or, uh, I think I did it up. Anyway, it doesn't matter. But uh, so okay, yeah. Exactly. Don't, it, don't worry today if it doesn't, you know, because that's actually quite a difficult moment. And really, it's, it's one of the really exciting moments in the piece, you know, when that wah, and he suddenly goes up, to the, jumps the octave. It's a really beautiful moment. So we, we need to make sure that you have a really good fingering for it. And uh, I'm just seeing if I have any e extra ideas. Um, yeah, OK, I'll show you why I did it here. Um, do it, do it, do it. There you go. Now, with a little bar, with a little bar covering that note, uh, just, just that. There you go. Okay. Now, keep two down. There you go. 
There you go. So you used to as your as your joining yeah. connection thing. There you go. If you if you prefer instead of four, use three. Um, One less. There you go. Okay. There you go. So you know, sometimes, sometimes for for important moments, a guide finger helps. Mm. I would actually prefer to have three. I mean, if I could get, if I could get the three, this is a better guide finger. But I can't, I can't find a way of doing it. Yeah. You know, it's just simply we don't can't do it. But because here. There's no guide finger, whereas the way Manuel plays it, uh, his guide finger goes to the B, to the G. So, yeah. but the big difference in sound. Okay, shall we go on? It's better than before, right? This, this is super difficult. That, that, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, bum. Do it once more for. No, your, your way, your way. Don't change it today. Okay, I'm going to ask you before. Just before you go down to the da -dum, da -dum, that stuff down there. Uh, try not to accent the one. You know, it, it's a very guitaristic thing. When you're going to go to another place, we tend to go dum dum da da boom before we go. And the last note we kind of hit it and we hurt it. So I want whatever these notes are, just let me learn them. Uh, okay. So that's still wrong. So be, be gentle on the last one. Not bad, not bad. Yeah. Maybe it's exaggerated, but that's the idea, yeah. really. To don't don't let the rhythm go wrong, but just don't hit it hard. Yeah. Okay. Should we go on? Go from. Do that sir. Okay. Can I just mark in? Can I mark in the E the E the E flat there with the two? You know, think about it, and just so that you, you know. I think it's worth doing it. Okay, so we go from do da 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 Okay, this chord, this chord needs to be shifted to the chord is. Okay. That one that you play, you played that. It actually should have an E in it. I'm just. It should be. It should be that. Right. Uh, there should be. Okay. So. If. if I'm just going to put in, it's, I'll, I'll write it in for you, it's actually easier. Mm. It's a D, G, E flat, and it's going to be 1, 1, 4, and... Right. Maybe it's this part. Is it this part? Oh, am I reading the wrong one? Okay, let me find the other one then. Uh, this one's a knee natural. Yeah, okay. So ju just, do you ever look at the original? Yes. Yeah, just check up that bar, right? So don't, don't forget that, what I said there, because that probably I'm just reading that one. But check up this chord on the original. Yes. And check orange. <laughs> and and I, think it's, I think it's worth it, right? Shall we go on? Okay, 
You, you remember, remember uh, the thing I mentioned before about the, the big upbeat thing? You're, you're doing it here. A lot of these chords are sounding like... Um, the the yeah. didum is coming out stronger than the, the other two. It's better. I'm not... Yeah, so just be careful how loud you play it. Could you do it once more from wherever you went before? Could you? That's better. It's just lighter, lighter on those in-between notes. Very nice. Let's try that again. Try it again. You know, sometimes when, when, when I'm playing and, and I think, um, if, if I hear myself not play very well mm. one thing again and again and again, I want to find out why, mm. right? And if I was going to say, which notes are going wrong with you? It tends to be those little ones in between. You know, you play this, okay, not so good, not so good. Right, so the, the little in between notes are the ones that are failing you, if you like. So let's go through that and see if I can help you, maybe one or two of them. Go from there again. J just that. Um. Careful. Dum, pom, pom, pom. That one, the, um, where were you? Let's do, let's do one really slow, right? Perfect, okay, no. now up to speed, but like that. Okay, there you go. So that's acceptable, you know, if you were making a CD, we'll take that one. No. But the other ones, like you had about 10, that were not good, no. right? So obviously there's a, a slight discomfort for your hands. Mm. You teach it to do the right one, mm. you know, and, and, but you must, you must go down to that small detail to, for you to improve. You know, the, the only improvement is going to come from these many, many tiny details. There's no big thing, right? Now, you know, it's, it's a, when I hear you play, I say, OK, it's almost there, but we want to get rid of the almost. Mm -hmm. And how, how do we get there? Just like that. Mm -hmm. OK, so let's go do that one. There you go. So there's something about the coordination, right, that that I think you can get better at. Mm. And you say, you might not really be able to practice it in Catalonia, <laughs> you know? You want to extract the idea and then go. <laughs> that sort of thing and practice it to make sure that your fingers are doing the thing. Remember we started actually with how good was, you know? So maybe in the morning, you have your cup of coffee or tea and you go. And then, and you know, so that the coordination when you want da dum dum or changing notes, your fingers will do it, right? Because mm -hmm. at the moment you're having to almost push it mm -hmm. to get it, right? And and obviously you can do it because you just did it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so once more. Beautiful, well done, fantastic. Now we can go on. <laughs> okay. Uh, dun, 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 dun. In the original, it's an F natural. It's, um, okay, so um, I just put question mark, question mark, question mark, natural for the F. Okay. It's right, so. I mean, the ridge in another key, I think, but uh, it's um, still. So let's go into this stuff now. Okay, can, can, 
we do it a little bit slower and a bit because I want to yeah. hopefully we're, we're going to try to make it better you, where you got it it's okay but we got to get better right so let's, let's try to yeah no more almost <laughs> we're really going to get it let's try it again okay okay um, it, do you think those slurs are actually coming out because you know for the listener there's that second note's not really there um, and it's quite it, what would happen now, uh, if you had no A in the chord Just don't, don't play a G, just play these. Uh, no, don't play that. Uh, no, no G string. No, that's a G. A D. There you go. There you go, okay. Now, because, you know, okay, so it's nice to have the fifth in there, but this means that you play. Doesn't sound good, you know? I mean, <clears throat> again, it's one of those things that a player like Manuel, he can do that and it comes out clean, but it's not clean for you. It's not clean for me either, you know. I would have to use four. If I wanted the A, I would use four if I wanted that note. I would prefer to say, forget that note. I mean, so. I would have done that. Yeah. Don't change it today, but we'll just yeah. go through it and things. Then I, I'm gonna ask you, how fast can you play just like a... Um, so you're going to be playing this at... Okay, now. Why slur? You know, I think you can play fast enough to go... And maybe use the first slur. Okay, could you do that without holding? Yeah, I did. Yeah. yeah, so go through it and see which, which slurs you could take out yeah. that might make it cleaner. I mean, I, I would say probably maybe slur only that one, this one, and this one. That would be enough, and then this one, yes. But you know, take them out because the slurs. If if the slurs are not really helping, remember, some people play this super fast. So if they're going to go that fast, well, maybe the slurs are necessary. You know, if you're going to, if you're doing it that sort of speed, it's easier with slurs, and then it just will be ugly. But for the speed that you're playing it, which is a good speed for for the piece, you know, it's, it doesn't need to go that fast. It's going to be fast enough. Yeah. All right, let's go on now. So we'll assume we'll look for other things as we go. Uh, no, do it, do it, do it you way today, yeah. right? Uh, with, do, don't worry about. Yeah. Okay, right. So, so the one that didn't sound good, those four sounded great. That one there didn't sound good. Yeah. So go from there. Ra -ra 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 Okay, so we put a circle around that, and we, how can we make that better? <laughs> um, maybe take out the slur. So you have... There you go. That way you won't have a note missing all the time, right? And it's really going to be quite easy for you to play slur, slur, two notes fast, slur, slur, two notes. Not difficult at all. I think mostly what's really hard is to play a whole lot of notes, like a everything plucked. That gets super difficult. But if you slur every two, it's not so difficult, right? I think it's really going to be better. OK, so let's move forward. That repeats itself. Uh, can we go on from anywhere else? About here? Uh, you know... Next stuff. Okay, all of 
well, that bit's fine, really. So I'm more concerned about the first two lines. Uh, this whole bit with the ty arpeggio type of playing, you're doing fine. Mm. There's no problem at all. Can we look at the end, this, the end of this whole section? OK, fine. Don't change this today, but that should be a B flat. in orange. This. Right, this. That should be the original, yeah. No, not that note. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you can't change it today, but just, because you have to actually... Uh, uh, you have to change the whole thing. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's just it's, it's a small thing, right? Shall we go on? So I think we've, it's mostly the first bit, yeah. right? That it needs to be fixed, yeah? Shall we go on? Dum, da, da. That note there again. It doesn't matter today, right? But it's the same thing, right? And so on. Shall we go on? Do it from, do it from there your way? Yeah, that's good. Perfect, perfect that down, right? This is a little bit scary, you know. I, I don't know why composers do this for us sometimes, you know. They give us this great piece and then way too difficult right at the end, you know. So, you know, you're getting to the end and say, oh, I hope it goes well. I hope it, you know, especially if you played really well up till there and you oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> and let's go through it again and see if, see if there's any suggestions I can help you with. I'm not sure, but... Uh. And do, uh, pretty good, pretty good. Now go from the beginning then, just... Beautiful, fantastic. You know, sometimes when, when I have this sort of thing, sometimes I like to put it in kind of sections in my mind. Mm. And... and uh, so, so... Try that, da -da 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 -da, and hold there. Go from, okay, yeah. Okay, that one especially. Sorry, sorry. Make make sure that so because you know the accent should be sorry. Da -da 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 -da. It's like an offbeat accent a little bit. That's it. Because each one, when you have the position changes, if you do the change well, everything else will come out. Mm. All the, the, the problem, it's almost always just where you have to change. Mm. Once more from the beginning. Mm. Fantastic. Ching chong. <laughs> Great. Okay. I think we've done enough here. Why don't you play a couple of minutes of Granada? Because you had it down there. You have it in memory, I'm sure. Mm, no. Not really. Really? Didn't prepare it so you didn't much. prepare it. Oh, that's a pity, because it's a piece I play. But. Yeah. You don't remember it at all? Yeah, come on. Go for it. Even if it's not, not for a concert, it's just for us.
this flight. Can I tell you something about tuning? No. <laughs> I mean, I know it's, uh, it's, we can all do the cheat thing and just use this. Okay, I, don't, I, have, it, I have it on sometimes just to, to be at the right pitch for, for a class or something. But it's better to have a routine that doesn't need too much checking, you know. Yeah. And, if, and sometimes if you check it yeah. once, that's enough. You know, just listen to, and then go to it, you know, because you, you went back and forth and then, then you're doing a different one, so, that, so of course you're tuning to another string that hasn't been fixed yet, okay? And it's really strange, but you know, the, probably your first guitar lesson was how to tune is the best way. <laughs> if it's a good guitar, you know, it... it okay, let me just... Uh, This one? Yeah. Okay. Go for go for Granada. Okay, doesn't matter, doesn't matter, just, just a, a few little ideas. Let's do the... You know, a lot of the things that I was telling, I can't remember your name, but it doesn't matter, Kasperi, um, before, of not too much bass, you know, be careful. Here, we want it to feel more bassy. Actually, this one as well, you know, so... More support. No. More of that E. That's right, okay. And when you know when this this comes, there's another E in the original. But it, it's it's an octave above. The first one goes bass E. Okay, that's what it should be. And I recorded this and, and you can do it in a recording, but you can't really do it in a concert. It looks terrible, but it's this. <laughs> you need a long note, and, but it's nice to have that note, but still, just repeat the bass note. So just do that. Should happen, yeah. Also, it gives more support to the whole tune, right? And go on to the next bit. Well, I did. Now, do your one. I just want you to know in the original, um, here, it's not this note, it's an E. It's, it, it should be. Although it hurts the ear at first. E. Right, so it's a, it's a kind of, the, the E goes all the way through that section until, until this comes, then there's no more E. Right, so many people, I think from Tarragas onwards, they corrected that. They said, oh, no, I don't like that E, you know, because it hurts their harmony. But, um, it's nice, right, you know. Okay, can you, do you want to do a little bit of the middle bit, you know? Let's go from there, you know the... Yeah, go from there.
Okay, just do there. Yeah, it's, you know, a little bit like we were talking about ornaments before. Um, the ornament has to add something, so let's make it even better. Yeah, I think sometimes it makes sure that the first note is not louder than the last note. Um, I think, I think, I have to do it my way. You know, I spend a lot of time when I'm practicing, just practicing my little ornaments because really so, so many pieces, they um, survive or they are better or worse depending on the ornaments. Mm -hmm. you know? And if your ornaments are disappointing, the whole feeling is, is not as good, right? So if you're, and if your ornaments are good, the whole feeling is better, right? So when you're practicing in the morning, you've got to do that. We've talked about that and get that really, and maybe also the little fast things. All of these things, so that this feels more comfortable. But a lot of these, listening to the last note always, That's better. Listen to mine. That's better. Not so good. Okay. And now with four, it's a little bit more difficult. And now. You understand why? why you see, so, so that you don't really need to practice Granada or that, those notes. You've practiced, and hopefully, and then that whole phrase is, because if not, it's better to chuck them out, okay? So I think it would be important for you to aim at these two things, yes. because most things are working well enough, but, we're trying to get rid of the enough, just like it's got to be really working well. And how do you, how do you get there? It's detail by detail, right? And it's, I think with you, it's, a lot of it is actually just technique. You know, that, that your technique is just below what you're aiming for in the piece, right? So to get to the next bit, work harder on it. Work, well, work harder is a bad word. Let's say, try to make it easier. So when you're, when you're working hard at it, your actual aim is to make all of these things easier for you, you know? I, if you watch somebody who's a really good player, you say, whoa, I struggle with that, and they, for them it's easy. It's not really easy for them, but they've found a way how to m make the hand work. Now, if you can do it once, it means that you can do it 10 times or 1,000, but you have to learn how to repeat it. So you get a good one, that's a good one, okay? So you repeat it, you break, that was a bad one. Break, and you, you're the one you want, which is not so easy. It's a little bit scratchy, but still. So I make a whole ton of exercise surrounding that idea, right? Yeah. I think that's the only way you're going to move forward, yeah. right? I mean, in time we all get better, but we want more than that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good yes. job. Well played. There you go. <laughs> you know, it's, it's a kind of, if, obviously, if you can play, if your technique is better, all of these things are easier. But not everybody's going to have the technique that Yamashita has or that, you know, some people just, it's not that they were born with it, they worked really hard when they were seven or eight, you know, and so if you didn't do that kind of work and think, well, you have to do it later, you have to do it differently, you know, it's, uh, and I think, you know, for you, I, I know you'll get a lot of these things better when you resolve some of these technique things. You know, discipline of the fingers is absolutely vital. And I still do it. I won't say every single day, because I didn't do it today, <laughs> but yesterday I spent half an hour just doing technique before I started practicing my pieces for the concert. And n my normal routine is more or less depending on the day, but you know, more. I'm going to say one more thing that, that connects to this. 
be careful how you warm up. Not only you, but everybody, really. Also, you know, as we get older, we have to look after our hands more than when you're a kid. You know, it just it doesn't really matter. You know, what? Well, it does matter, but it, would, it doesn't seem to bother them. They wake up, they get bendy, you move everything. As you get older, you have to be more careful, more disciplined how you move and how you jump around, you know. And, for example, uh, discover what things you don't do so well, you know, and simply attack them. That is, uh, resolve if it's a position change and, like, for example, we were talking about... Uh, that's a position change and one of those stuck together, right? It's a very typical mistake when you have two problems put together, suddenly two easy things, they're stuck together, it's difficult. So invent a few exercises around that. This one here, just to talk about this... Um, that one because you use that fingering, right? If we do that, there's, there's another problem in that to do this, you, your elbow has to be here, and to play this, your elbow is out there. That's our... Right, so it's quite a big change. That's why... That's why that one is so easy. But still, you may have to do it Invent problems are, that are similar to that. Don't practice just that one. And usually, it's easier to resolve that way, you know. It's much easier for the person, for me, I'm outside now, I can see your fingers, I fix that. It's not so easy for yourself to see it, but still, you have to do it, you know. Let's take a little five minute break, shall we? We all need to just move our bodies for a moment. And then whoever is coming next can come up.
Hi there. Hello, Linda. Nice to see you. What are you playing? Ah, oh, yes, right, that's right. The sweet Compostelana. Okay, so shall we do them separately? Yeah. We'd like to play the first one and then, mm -hmm. and then we'll talk about it and then, then go forward. Where's the first page? First page uh, okay, there we go. Whoa. Okay, Federico Monpou. Lovely. Done. Okay, fabulous. Wonderful. Very nice to hear this music again. Yeah, I met Mr. Monpo a long time ago in Santiago. This is this is the suite about Santiago de Compostela, obviously, mm -hmm. and he wrote it there, and um, he, he was teaching there, I was on a course, and he was the composition teacher, and I didn't play for him because I didn't know, I just, I was too young and didn't, didn't realize how important it would have been to play his music for him, but still, some of the other guitarists played for him, and he was very, very shy, and uh, I always remember one of the one of the guitarists said to him, 
uh, maestro, there, there are so many slow movements. And he said, oh, just play the ones you like. <laughs> so, you know, we always think, oh, we've got to do everything the composer said. I think he was so shy, really, a very, very gentle man. And uh, so actually many people, and I, myself, I've sometimes played the suite, not the whole suite, just do three movements or something. You know, this one, that one of the slow ones, and the fast one at the end, you know, because there are many slow movements. You know, so. Anyway, so um, have you ever been to Santiago or seen it? No. Okay, don't mind. One day you should go, but you must go in winter because uh, it, it's um, wet and misty and mysterious. Now there are so many people there because there are lots of tourists and lots of people who do the Camino de Santiago. It's a, a pilgrimage that, that reaches there. And it's many old, old buildings, I mean, from the Middle Ages, in the whole center of the city. And this, the, the piece is supposed to be, his words were kind of like, like the mist going through the streets. Right, so we're searching for that feeling, which you got there, especially it was very nice, you know. And then this bit, I want to help you to make it a little more melodic. The fingering you use is not, not very, you know, when you do like the appoggiatura on the end, or the tirom, when you do it on two strings, it's very difficult to do it, to make it melodic. I, I, just as an example, it's much easier than, you know, it, it should be almost even with a slide. those sort of things. We'll talk about that when we get there, but we'll find a way of making that more melodic. Um, I have one more idea, then, then we'll make it all work. This part here, um, you did some... Uh, it's, it's better on one string and all with the thumb, because you play very strong there, right? Right, because... Uh, that was very good for this bit. Where you want everything to be more mysterious, yeah? Um, so let's go from the beginning. We just talk about little details and this part here when it comes. Off you go. Okay. Very nice, fantastic, very good. Up to there, I love it. Now, I'm concerned about this F note. When you get to the end, uh, you, you have... Um, it should be... It should ring on. See, so I'm just... I, I can't remember all my old fil fingering, but... Um, yeah, that's right. See, the, you know, Linda, what, what worries me is that when you end something, if the very last note of that section is short and cut, in some ways it, it's destroyed, but it doesn't destroy it, but it's hurt the whole idea. You know, that just the way you round off. So that note should ring through, right? Um, hold, I'll just put hold and then, then we'll, we'll, we'll try and find... The fingering I used was this. Yeah. OK, so basically I did, I did it all here. And then... So on, right? Um, I'll I'll tell you why after. But um, anyway, that that's that idea. So this would be all all in seventh <laughs> until those two. Those two you have to move down. Just do this for me. Just with two with two. Don't don't. and then back up again, okay? So if you can remember that, it's quite easy to, that, to do, do the whole yeah. thing, yeah? Uh, then how did you do, then, uh, you. Yeah, and then this bit here. Uh, okay. 
Um, I'm going to mark in some slurs as possibilities. Not, it'll make it different for you, but now, um, in some ways, you know how he starts on the offbeat? Yeah. is the phrase, right? So all of these phrases start one note late, right? OK, it starts on the second semiquaver. So the idea was to put a slur in on every, every beginning. Beginning. And here, like this. Uh, OK, so there's going to be a slur here, a slur here. So it'll go like this. Okay, right. It it's, it works all the way through. If you use, see, it's when a composer has a little idea, uh, it's nice to do something that, that identifies that idea. And his little idea, first of all, this one. And then the ending idea is this. That little idea, you can bring it out in your mind by using the slur. And it's going to come out here when this comes. It's all the way through, right? Yeah. You don't need to do it today, but experiment with it, right? Mm -hmm. You know, I studied this piece with, with Jose Tomas, who was our teacher in Spain. He was the, the best teacher at that time and a wonderful man. And, and the piece was so much part of the guitar, um, what shall we say? the guitar knowledge that we all tried to learn in Spain at that time, and Monpo was there, etc. So um, that's why I follow these fingerings, that are fingerings that come through from Tomás, rather than these ones, right? People that didn't have anything to do with them. <laughs> they're, uh, they're not, it's not, nothing against them, but especially because he just passed away recently. <laughs> so, so we go into the second half, this bit here. have to jump one point to get that extra bass in yeah 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 don't change it today do it your way do, do it your way today and then we, we talk yeah you okay. that's good I'm kind of disappointed because my ear asks for the last E, but still. Uh... Still, you know, I know, I know they, they got the score, um, Gilardino got the score, so the original score probably didn't have the E, and so that's why it's not there. But Segovia put it in, and who knows whether Segovia put it in speaking with Monpo, as they were together all the time. Mm. You know, so the changes that Segovia made to it, I'm sure he heard. But he was such a gentleman that probably if Segovia said, Federico, I want to have a, a knee, Federico would say, oh, please, have a knee. <laughs> you know? So I don't think, you know, he wasn't the kind of person that would say, no, 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 I don't want a knee. You know, he wouldn't be like that. So it's difficult to really know um, if, if that change or some of the other small changes were because Segovia just did what he wanted or because they talked about it. But still, my ear really wants it. So also in the second bar? Yeah, I'd, I'd there and these were basses. Uh, and so, yeah, the... 
whatever comes next. Yeah. It's up to you, you know. In the, in the end, you're the person who's going to play it. So uh, I would say you get to choose. My suggestion is at least on the first one, mm -hmm. because you're still playing strong. You know, you don't do the diminuendo until there, really. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, and not. And if you do that, at least dark, if you do the o E, mm -hmm. at least do it dark. Shall we go on? Yes. You play. Lovely. So there's that little idea that don't do it today, but think of that slur in there. So it would be. Um, So that, that would be... Okay, could you, could you get that in one position? Yeah, or... or uh, I'm just, it's just that it's a bad place to have to shift. It's, it's not a good phrasing way. Uh, it's better to shift. After this, that's too important <laughs> to have to do like that. I did it like that. Um, A, is it? Yeah? Yeah. So we go on? You, you, you think about it, right? Yes. How about, how about this bit goes... Uh, Sorry. Can I can I see you go play from before it? Maybe play from there. Do, yeah. do, do, do. Your way today. Don't change it. Okay. What I'm hearing is this. I'm hearing a cut. Can you can you do it without cutting? Just join, join the phrase so it goes do do do. That's good. And then. Okay, this is better to do this. See? So after you do that one, and use the slide a little bit. Do it your way. Uh, number four. I want you to keep four on. So it goes. There you go. Dum. Okay. Make it make it like you're singing. But try that. Um, da -da -da. But I'll try. I think because you, you played an open, open E there. Yeah. So, you know, open E is fine, but <clears throat> it doesn't feel like a human voice so much. You know, it just is uh, too instrumental. So uh, the advantage of, sorry. You know, you get some vibrato, everything to make that note. It's like a dead note. Yeah. So, yeah. so we go on. So, uh, what shall I say? Uh, Second string, there. <laughs> okay, yeah. that one's me. <laughs> so you remember. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Signed and uh, it's just. So I want to uh, give the feeling of that this is not melodic, right? You know. Uh, and now very melodic. Misty. 
and melodic. You know, so the contrast, right? Yeah. Shall we go on? Yeah. How about from there? That stuff there. Just try that once more. Do, da, da. Okay, Linda, Linda. The composer has written molto espressivo. Right? So if a composer writes that, it's not a suggestion, it's an order. <laughs> okay, you know. So how can you be more expressive with that? What, what would you do? It doesn't matter. You don't have to answer me, but I want you to think about it. Right. I'm going to give you a few suggestions because this comes from a period of time when, I mean, so he, he was born when Tarraga was still alive, you know, so he, he, it's a long time ago, really. And he, his playing, his idea of, of music was much more melodic than maybe some of the modern ways of playing. You know, so I, I, just like you think in style, we want a Baroque style, and then here we want a classical style. We also have to have this impressionistic style uh, that he's searching for. And I think some of those slides and things can really help to make it feel more expressivo. Mm -hmm. So I would suggest that at least um, it would be to, to do that. Um, so maybe. See, because you've got an open B if you want, on there, or a two. Yeah, and then and with the bass E when it comes in. There you go. Yeah, I'm going to give you a fingering for it. Um, that's it, we're okay. F, F, there you go. Okay, and then that one's not so important, but th that, that slide up there, I think, will help. And, you know, your vibrato and everything needs to have a little more. All right, do it, do it your way today. Okay. Much more. And we'll try to be super espressivo, molto espressivo with your way. We can as well, right? You do it. Okay, now, one of the things that's making it not so expressive was that shift between there's something in there that's making you... That, so having that cut there is, is hurting the, the line, the feeling of melodic line, so... So can, I, would, I would look for a finger... If I really wanted to do it with this fingering, I would definitely have to have that there, so I would prefer to go... Okay, do that, that's how we've done that. Now, one, two... And now we can join those two better. Okay, and, you know, so search, search for a fingering that gets what you're aiming for. You, you know, sometimes, sometimes when you've got this complication, right, you just take the melody itself, And we take just that, and we say, how would we like that? Well, I want, or, and you, you decide. And once you've decided that, then we work to get the accompaniment notes, or the second voice in, right? But don't let the, the chord feeling break that beauty of melody, yeah? Okay, we've done that. Shall we go on? This is fine. Do -do 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 -do. That, that ba -dum, suddenly jumps at you. It should really come from the E. Um, right? So you can say, well, if I do that fingering, I'm going to lose the F. Yeah, but I've gained the melody. <laughs> I, I went to this. Right? So at least 
some way or that. How do you, how, you your fingering, go for it. Okay, well, how can we make that espressivo so when you, when you, when that comes, do something with the timing or something, maybe delay this note. Watch this, see if I can do it. Um, bom, bom. Right, play it a little bit later. Don't try to play it in time. See if that's going to be better. Okay, Linda, that, that, that's, that's already a little more expressible, right? Because, you know, you, you could say, how, how do we make something expressive? Well, if you play it straight, it's not going to be expressive, obviously. If you play it, actually, there's a game you can play, but we wouldn't do it with this. But let's say we just take a little melody and we say, and the melody goes. And that's all we've got, right? And it's it. So you play it once, really boring. Now you play it really interesting. And then really boring, then really interesting, really boring. And see how different you can make it. Now, and if you play around with that, you'll come up with some good ideas. Whereas if you kind of just play it and play it, play it, you won't come up with any ideas. So I'm pushing you to, well, we're on this one. So we, have, we take this and we go. Um, and I'm going to make this note way, way late. Um, And then I'm going to make very, especially this, uh, I want to be in the same string. It's more expressive for me anyway, you know, for example. So you come up with new ideas. If, if, you, if you aim at that, don't aim at just getting the fingering. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, let's go on. Let's jump forward. Okay, we talked about that. Here, this was fine. Although I think too loud, but because he also, this you played, I know it says, he says, Sforzando molto espressivo. They kind of <laughs> do this for us so they know. That was nice. Okay, you've got this slide. What would happen? Do the first two notes. Da, da, da. What, would, what would happen if this note was much quieter? Um, Well, then we're already a little more dispersible, yeah? For example, All right. Let's go on to this now. Okay, so as you go through this, I'd love this to be as mysterious as possible. Right? And somehow when you play the open E, it's really very bright. Go from the beginning again. That's better, yeah, really quiet. Here, yeah. Don't don't let it get too bright. Like when you when you get because it's um, it's too incisive, okay. And it would be nice if it was now a little bit less regular, less ya ta 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 ta. But like try that. Yeah. So it's getting faster, faster, and then slowing down. Faster, get it faster, even faster. Slowing, 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 slowing down, slowing down. This. 
okay, something's beginning to happen with it, right? Because it's, it's got to make some sort of sense. You know, it's, it's harmonically really lost. You know, we're, we're, the listeners, what's all of this? Well, it's supposed to be. Yeah. It's supposed to be, and I think if you make it rhythmically exact, it doesn't achieve the same result. Let's try it again. But could you exaggerate that, you know, when you do... You do it. Wind up, yes, go for it. And again. Turn, maybe. Slow down now. Disappear, disappear. You'll be able to do it. I think, I think this way, the way you do it, did it, that has more future than the other one. Okay? Shall we go to the high bit? See if I can help you with the... There was one... There's just one layer that was missing. You do it for me. You know, having, having had that little idea that we talked about getting faster and slower, this was perfect. When you have the... Could you play around with the rhythm a little bit? It's, it's again... This is nice to be exact. That's perfect, right? But... Um, uh, there's just a little bit of shape in the phrase. You do it for me there. Speed up, just there. It's getting better. Could you get even faster? That's better. And then when you get to here, wait. Uh, Wherever the notes are, I can't read it fast enough. Okay, right. And Linda, the, the very last one, it, it needs more, more enjoyment. Um, that, that one needs to do something with it. And then the other one, the, you know, a little bit of enjoyment on the last, always the last note. Well, the notes here. You do it for me? Just talk about the harmonic one. Uh, do it for me. Yeah, be very gentle on the harmonic. Because you went, it's too, too strong. Like, that was better this time. Hit it gently. Perfect. Can you can you do a uh, right hand harmonic on the second one? Because uh, let's see. No, it's coming too hard. I'm just wondering because you. No, it's not worth it. It's not, I was just wondering if there was some way of enjoying the end. Uh, you know, rather than there's a cut there that's not so nice. Anyway, shall we do the ending? Just before that, any way you like the... Uh... 
Okay. I know it's written the, the rolled, rolled. Um, I always did it like that. It doesn't matter. Very nice. Do, do you, when, when you did it the first time, the chord was like you were. Put the whole chord down after you do this. Put, put it down rather than. Like that. Let's go on to the next one now. Very nice. Which one are you going to play? The kuna? Yes. Okay. Okay. And okay. There we go.
Yes. Very good. Okay. Lovely. Okay. Such a gentle piece, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Lovely. Uh, you know, there's a, a way of doing the end, just a small detail, and, uh, I remember, just in case we don't get there. Just the last two notes, the, the chord and the... And you can actually get those two harmonics by doing this. Uh, so you play... Yeah, there you go. And so you can leave the chord on, you have... Yeah. So it kind of... Because it seems a pity that everything dies, and they, you know, it's supposed to be almost like the part... Sorry, uh, I think it's better, to, or even just, you, you know, but... Um, you can get the tool like that. You know, I think it's a nicer way, rather than stopping and, and having to play the top two notes. Okay, so then I'm going to suggest something that only a little bit, but a little bit faster, so that this doesn't get completely stopped. Right, and when when you come back to that little section there, um, it's better if you can move it forward. Let it, let it, I'm out of tune. Because this bit, for you to do this even slower, when you're going so slow, it doesn't work. Because this, this needs to go about. <laughs> to work, more or less. So, to, 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 and we speed it up just a little bit. So that so that you can go slower. Yeah. Yeah. Because if not, it, it just felt wallowing. You know. Mm -hmm. Once more from the beginning, anyway. So pick a good speed. I should tell you what. Why don't you just play the beginning of that the way you'd like to play it? Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now go from the beginning of the whole piece. But it's a little faster there. A little. Yeah. Seeing. A, Now let's try something else with it. That's fine, that's good speed. But make the second bar, number two and number four, gentler. So we have... So, um, Always the second bar sort of answering the first a little bit. Mm -hmm. You try? Nice. Right, right, okay, let's just add one more thing. Uh, Just touch the brakes on the second one. The, the where, whereabouts was that? That's perfect, perfect. Just hold it back, just like you did. So it sounds it's very gentle, but it's really delicate. It's really lovely when you did that. Once more, just so that they, not, they notice. Lovely tempo. Okay, beautiful. Let's just experiment with one more thing, which might not work, but we'll have a go at it. Could you try every second bar almost slow down at the beginning of it? So go from the beginning and... 
sun slowing down, then push and slowing down, pushing it more and slow, push. Right, so use that, you know, the, the piece is so delicate that we must find ways of making sure that we engage our audience in it. You know, a kuna is a, is a, a lullaby, right? But we don't want the audience to really go to sleep. <laughs> you know, they're supposed to think, <laughs> feel like going to sleep, but not actually go to sleep. So all of these little things that you can do with it, they are better. You know, yeah. and you have a beautiful tone and things. So you know, it's absolutely working perfectly. And when I've asked you to do these things, you did them really easily. So they're natural to you and I think it's going to be better. Let's try a little bit the one that's in the lower register. Yeah, here it is. It's the same, same thing of that second bar being less important, or not, not less important, being more, more kind of friendly than the first one. You know, push, pull, push, all the way through. Now it's perfect. Great. Can we do the join, the last couple of notes before we go into this? Maybe from anywhere there's good. Ding, ball. So, so Linda, you, you're thinking of this as an upbeat. This and what it on? Okay, in which case, stop longer, right? Um, <laughs> make it more obvious. You know, if, uh, I wasn't sure when you played it before, because. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, he's written it not as an upbeat because he's done the double line thing, but ah, doesn't matter. I, I like your way, but make sure that you change mood. Do -do -do. Yeah. Yeah. Once more for me. I always, you know, I always like to exaggerate. If I, if I have a slight idea, exaggerate it because in the concert we're never able to do quite as much. Something makes us, we get inhib inhibited or something. So exaggerate more. I'm going to show you what I mean. Um, So it's basically what you did, except that more. Yeah. Once more for me. John is not very nice. Uh, it's hard. Eh? Yeah. You know, when you're looking for a fingering, like you've got to do that. Sometimes it's almost best to read backwards. Put this chord down, and then when when you've got that chord down, okay, think where is the closest. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. I'm thinking that that would be... I know I've got a note missing there, but if you really want the B in it... Try this, you okay? Yeah, but we've got to leave the, that down. See, watch mine. 
Mm. So th these two notes are ringing. And it's that note. It's nice, nice with that note, but um, pity he didn't do that, but he wrote, okay. Nope. Okay. Now keep four, and now put the other chord down. It's got to be in one block. There you go. Okay, a little practice for that join, because this fingering, it's only going to work if you, if you let us listen to the slide. Listen to mine. So now it's joined. All right. I think that the secret of using, using the half bar like that might help. Yeah. Might be, you know, because if you... It's much more cut. Anyway, shall we go on? Mm -hmm. uh, most of this was fine, actually. I tell you what, do you play any more of the other movements? Yeah. Let's do a little bit of the last movement. I haven't played that actually. Oh, you haven't done that yet. That's a pity. Okay, because that one needs a lot of fixing in it. Um, I'm not sure if I have it here. But, uh, because composers, mon Paul. Uh, I've only. Let's see if the whole thing is here. Okay. Yeah, this because I'm not sure in this edition, in the newer edition, I'm not sure what they've done. Because, you know, j I'll just tell you about it, because you will play it. You have to learn this one as well, right? Because it's, uh, it's important to, to have this one learned. Help. Now, the, um, the Muneira... Is it not giving me much light? Okay, no, that's the other one. Okay. Where? Because Monpo wrote this really odd rhythm. He wrote. With that stop, da -da -dum, da -da -dum. but it, this is exactly the the traditional dance from Galicia, yeah. and it's not like that. It's like that. It should be like that. Da da dum, da da dum, da 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 is the way the dance is really, mm -hmm. and you can hear if if you want to get it. You know, a lot of people play it a little bit slow and heavy, because well, it's quite hard. Um, but it's better if you get it up to the, a speed that is close to the speed that people dance it at. And if you look in in, in internet, just put Muñeira. And this one, which one is this one called, Maria? It's like the the, the yeah, it's got a name though, like the the Carballino or something like that. Chantada? No, it's not. Okay, because the. Th but this one is very, very well known, right? Mm -hmm. And the speed is quite fast, you know. <laughs> you know, it's, it's pretty, pretty boisterous. So when you are learning it, aim, aim to get Maybe not quite as fast, but aim to get close to that speed. I think it's a, it's a, it needs it. You know. Okay, so maybe play a little bit of the one. Uh, which other one do you do? Then we'll stop. Um, well, I have prepared for today only these. Okay, but do you know the the the, the canción? Do you know yeah, this one? I have played that before. Mm -hmm. Okay, you don't want to play a little bit. Okay, don't worry, don't worry. Let, let's leave it at that then. We've done enough work here with this one. Okay? Good job. Then. <laughs> okay. Lovely. Great. There you go. Now, I, I live quite near Santiago, and we go there quite often. My wife and I, you know, it's a favorite city. <laughs> Lovely place. Yeah. So. I want to visit that place.
Yeah, <laughs> you visit it, visit it. You know, in the winter, it's when it's more typical. In the summer, it's so full of tourists. Yeah. You know, just now it's very full. But mm. in the winter, it's, you get to walk down those, those mysterious streets. Yeah. Great. Great, who's coming now? Here you go, okay. Nice to meet you too. I'm Teuvo. What is your name? Teuvo. Teuvo. Yeah, that's Teuvo. Actually, really good. <laughs> Close enough <laughs> for a foreigner, anyway. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna play this uh, Chopin's Nocturne. Oh, okay. All yeah, right. An arrangement uh, by Torrent. Wow. All right. And feel free to make any any more. Okay. <laughs>
well then. Okay, lovely. Very expressive. Very nice. Well done. Beautiful. Okay, so there's lots of little details that I think I can help you hopefully make things better. Um, I don't want, the, there wasn't any one thing, okay, we've got to fix this, or, you know, but sometimes after your little ornaments or whatever, you're quite late in getting to the next note. You know, if you have a blah, 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 beam, so that, those notes that are there should take us, obviously, to that one. So I think it's sometimes a physical difficulty, you know, that maybe there's a jump or something, but that was one of the things that comes up quite a thing. And there's one ornament that didn't work very well, and it comes quite a few times. Um, it's one that goes something like that. Just, just do that. Just do that line. Okay, and again. That 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 mordant. That one. That one. Yeah. Okay. I, I want you to take super extra attention on that ornament. Um, still not. That's better. That was a little bit. Okay. Let's see. Let's see why it's not very pretty. I mean, I mean maybe you're anticipating too much. was a little better that was more yeah because uh, I mean we, we were talking about it in the Bach and the, before you know the ornament brings it to life or kills it <laughs> and that one that you do there and it comes a few times similar situations yep. just a, it's a very simple the simple mordant none of them were very nice in comparison to all the rest of your playing, they're, they're below your level. So we have to find out why that happens, right? So let, let's, let's work on this one, then we'll work on the other one. Do, do this one for, again a couple of times. Try, try this. Before you actually play the ornament, delay it. Still not, uh, still not, I wouldn't say, if, 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 mm. if you were making your CD, we, don't, we still don't want any of those ones on there, <laughs> right? So we need to find one that's going to be, you're going to be, you can live the rest of your life with. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's, and then once we hear it, then we'll repeat it. Okay, let's try again. That's better. Maybe just a touch slower. That's not bad, not bad. Okay, I like that one. So now, now do it from the beginning and see if you can repeat that. Getting there, right? Now the second, now this one. That one, that one. That was the one that was especially bad. So. You're, you, I'm not hearing I want to hear this. Oops. No, I'm, I'm here. So, okay, let's let's just make it into a complete triplet then. This. Getting there. Okay, it's a it's a technique thing, I think. Right now. There's a couple of little tricks you would try. Right, listen, listen to mine. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll kind of analyze it. I'm going to be the example today. I'll try and do it as well as I can. So the ornament is, helps to make the E more interesting. So I'm going to lose a little bit of time on the E and then catch up in the next three. Try that one first. No. I want this. That's better. 
Right, now you notice how the, the, the G sharp it scares you. Make sure you cover it here. Okay, so if you can play, um, so. Yeah. Yeah, if practiced. Okay, so the next thing would be to, I know we were speaking before with uh, Zachary or with the name of so you, you practice this. And then, until you've, and make sure that you get, getting that last note. Okay, there you go. You know, and I would say, you know, if, 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 if I was you just now, I would say, I really want this, but you're playing very beautifully in your phrasing, and it's being hurt by these little things. Sometimes another fingering, it will help. You know, just like change the finger completely. Because uh, this, for example, lift up the, lose the bass note. It's like 10 times easier. And then, yeah. It's 10 times easier. Yes. So, you know, you say, well, which is better? Keep that bass note and have a bad ornament, or have a good ornament and lose the end. Of course, lose lose the bass. Of course, yeah, you know. Yeah. I mean, it's a. We can all live with that, but we can't live with the other. Okay, it's still not great, but I, w I want you to make it great. Come on, <laughs> one more, one more, then we go on. You're still not spending time on the E after. Oh. That's right. Yeah. Now, now, now we talk about something else, right? You know, mostly the pianists play that kind of ornament before the beat. They go. Uh, so one tum ta ta tum. So the the beat note where we would put our foot down would be the last E. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas most guitarists, we play, we, we, we play on the beat. Yeah. We go, so we, we put our foot down on the first E, not on the last E. And because you've got the bass note, well, the bass note, sorry, this note coming, yeah. if we anticipate it too much, this, this, this note gets anticipated, mm. right? But, what you should do, if you listen to the, the, the piano play, pianist, it'll always be. And not. Okay? Now, it doesn't really matter. We don't have to be perfect. But whatever we do, we must make a good last E. Okay, that, we've, we've talked about that, so let's go right to the beginning now and uh, we'll deal with the whole piece and enjoy it. Beautiful. Can, can I just try something? Um, read this well. I hear you do this. Yeah. Uh, it's really funny. It, it, it hurts our, our way of playing. Once, once you have something that is a little bit cumbersome, or a little bit awkward for the hands, we often are not so good at our music. Yeah. Whereas only one position would be better. Uh, whatever the notes are, do dum. Okay. It's much easier to make a nice phrase. You understand what yeah. you're searching for. Let's go on. Beautiful. David, can you go from there? Yep. 
Okay? I don't know if you remember um, when Linda played, we were talking about those, those cut notes right in the middle of a phrase or something. That note. That is not very nice, that, that one being cut. If you have no choice, just hide it. Watch. Yeah. Just, yeah, just, just roll it gently. And if you go, then you're yeah. showing them the problem. There you go. Right. Because we, we, we have no choice but to cut there, right? I mean, it would be. It's just we have no choice. So. Right, shall we go on? Okay, do that again. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's right. Make sure that it doesn't go. It's too late. That's the one, that's the one. Exactly, exactly. I mean, it's just, it's just, it's so logical and it's so easy. Well, yeah, it got it, you know. Exactly, because, exactly. It's just to take you there. Those notes don't really exist on their own. They exist for the C yeah. at the top. Okay, da, da, da. let's go on uh, anywhere, any way you like. Because really I'm, I want to go through it with these, fix these little things, because yeah. your general expressivity is great. It's just beautiful. You know, I think just about that, that B there, um, if you do it with vibrato, it'll never be out of tune, or it won't be out of tune oh, yeah, so much. Yeah, Whereas if not, it's going to sound a little bit flat and... Whatever the note. Yeah. It needs... That's right. And the second, the, the A doesn't need it because it's the resolution. Uh, Sometimes it's nice to know which notes really need a, a, vi a vibrato on them, mm -hmm. you know? And number nine needs a vibrato. Or, a, right, and what is uh, that one? Yeah, d go from dom. Uh, it's flat. It's uh, yeah. Right. So use use your ear. You know, uh, n number nine in the in the chord is good uh, good way, but there there are other ways of of finding. Okay, vibrato. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. And this this one. The, the, yeah. That one's fine. Well okay, can I, can I, I want to end, I want to understand the end of that one. Could you for, yep. Why don't, you try, why don't you try this? When you get to the C, right, hold, see, the, 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 the G sharp belongs to, to there, but, um, right, so st stop a little bit there. Go from here. That's right, yeah. Make us enjoy the top. Yep. Once more. better. That's the way. So make sure that there's a big gap and no gap. Yeah. Right. Now, can we try something, seeing as we we'll stop on this? Um, Tarragar often, he, what he does is he writes a line, a glissando, and then a little note, like, and then the note itself, right? Which tends to make us stop on the... So we're actually adding, that means instead of six, there are now seven semi-quavers, right? Can you imagine that that really doesn't exist 
you just get there. And not. Yeah, almost as soon as you arrive, play the B. Yeah, so you. That's right, so we have. That's right, it's, it's just so that you don't, so that there's too many notes if you add in do what, dun, right? Okay, let's, shall we go on? Dun, dun. Okay, I want to hear that again. Do it again for me. Nice. I, w I wonder if the... What would happen if if you just did the trill and the turn without the bass notes? I want to hear it. Uh, uh, sorry, what? And that, yeah, how good, how good is the turn? The turn is the end of the trill. Yeah. And there's a note missing. Ah, okay. So that note wasn't coming out. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's better. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. okay, what? That was small. Can you get more body? It's, it's, a, it's a bit skinny. Uh, whatever that. Uh, beautiful. I wonder. I wonder if you can be slightly more elegant with the with the slide down. It's a little bit gloopy. Uh, you know, it's, I don't. I don't want to take it away from you because it's very nice, but it's almost like overdoing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe maybe stay a little bit longer. Um, So I okay. and just put the slide just a little bit on. Yeah, you know, um, and maybe it's because of the speed. It's too slow. So, so you wait. Okay. Nice. That's better. Okay, go, go once more. For Too soon. Oh. Enjoy the enjoy the A. Yeah. Lovely. Okay. All of this phrasing I loved except for the except for the F. I'm just going just to the yeah. thing, right? It's really um, so go dum bum bum rum yaram. Try something, try something for it. Um, you know how you can make an accent by actually doing the opposite, by going too quiet. Mm -hmm. Suggest that you're gonna play a loud F, but then underplay. Um dum do yeah. going to be, I think, more elegant than the loud one. And then come back. Um, yeah, when you when, then come back. To there you go. It's really fine, very, very nice. I didn't hear your F, the bass note. You know. Oh, yeah. So go from the, this what? The one there. It's, it's, it's still unsupported, the chord, yeah. Let's do this again. 
Yeah, before we go there, okay, that's great. Just do the last chord and then the da 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 da. That's such a nice moment. You support it? Yeah, so, you know, your, your top note is very strong, right? So it, it could have a bit more bass support. Mm. Just, so, um, Okay, can I ask you what, what? It's, it's, I know, I know Tarraga stuck that little doing in, okay, that's his thing, but I, I think in this case, he's hurt. The, the idea is to enjoy this note and then uh, where well, it should be. So th there should be really very little time between this F and this F. Okay. Um, oh, you know, yeah, yeah. yes, that's right. The slide is gonna is gonna always break that, but that's that's one of those sort of almost uh, uh, you know Chopin does this kind of like slightly Eastern Eastern European song kind of coming into it. Um, and not, it's too late. Mm. Yeah. So I, I would have taken that one out and I'd have loved it. <laughs> Whatever you do there. <laughs> yeah. So I, I, would have, I would have gone up to, up to the second string, but there's a, and then it's gonna be the, and then come down. Yeah. It's, it's such a typical that that da da dum. Here's there's another one. Yes. There's another one there. Yes. You know. And if you don't have to be consequent, and you don't have to. If you do it one place, you must do it the other place. You don't need to. But if you're going to do that there, he's actually. It's the same phrase. So and you would you wouldn't do it there. So, and so on. Let's go on. This was very nice. Okay, let, let me just ask you to try something at the end when you go after your trill. We already spoke about it there, but the trill's fine, the turn is fine. The two Bs, um, sorry, sorry, two Gs. Um, dum, bum, make yeah. the second one late. Uh, you understand what the meaning yeah, is? Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. Maybe, maybe for your way of playing, that cut was too much. Yes. Just, so just, just, just cut the tail. Yeah. Let's try something else. Just delay the second G. It's better. That's the best way. So just think of it as a kind of. Um, oh yeah. Exactly. Support. There's no bass. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, it's just that we didn't hear after after. We need a bass note. Yeah. Enjoy that bass kind of supporting your melody. Yeah. Right. I know you play very melodically, so you you're aiming everything kind of at get that melody note. But I think sometimes you're you're losing the bass because of it. Yeah. That's, just think of the people at the back. They probably didn't hear that bass at all. Okay, that's just about enough. Yeah. <laughs> Still could, could do, do it more. You know, when we're talking about balance, if, if you're playing very, very toppy, very mel melodically like you do, the bass notes don't really hurt it. The ones that might hurt it are the close notes. You know, if you were, these ones, these ones might hurt that, but it still rings perfectly well. 
So you could have a lot more bass than you play with. Yeah. to delay it not yeah you know it's it's because it's because it's, it takes a long time when you separate the yeah. see so the rubato is here and no rubato yeah. there <laughs> you know you can do it do it with uh, without not two bases like um and slur it um okay so so you have that 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 tight rhythm tight moment of rhythm like you you're you're too lazy on the little one da -dum. okay ya <laughs> Let's do that again. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> Go from the. Let, give me a couple of notes before it. Um... Okay. C could you a little bit less loud on the first one, like this? You yeah. know, uh, it's a bit like when you yeah. do that. It's not. It's. Yeah. it's yeah. Yeah, um, play this one less, this one more. Well, don't do this yeah. more, just reduce that one. Yeah, that's better. So. Yeah. Great, yeah. My fingers, my fingers squeak a lot more than yours. This is, uh, help. But um, I would have to use the, the flat bit, yeah. Yeah, I'd have to use Yeah. Well. Nice. Okay, sorry. It's, it's, it, you know, I'm stopping you on tiny details, but it, it's quite important. Yeah. I want you to think of um, which note is you're doing the long bit on. Now, you know, when, when we speak, I, I, I don't know Finnish, and you have accents in strange places, but let's say the typical word like Barcelona. Okay, the accent should be on the O, Barcelona. Oh. Okay, so if you say Barcelona, you sound like a foreigner. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so if you do the long note on the wrong one, you sound like a foreigner. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, so when we go, uh, wherever it is there, if we do it on the wrong one, then it, it's unbalanced, right? So, do, I'm not sure, but which one it's going to be. But. Okay. Uh, okay. Maybe. Uh, maybe. Maybe that's too fast. Yeah. So go from the game. It's nice. Okay, I'm going to ask for one thing. When you get to the bottom, that note's flat. Um, so, uh, did, did you spend a long time on the on the G? Do it for me. Yeah. The whole thing, if you like. Yeah, I think I think you spend too long on the G. And you got to get to the F. Okay. Not 
no, it should be. Um, oh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's oh, yeah, right. Yeah. That's yeah. No, <laughs> even even shorter. Do you know? Just natural. Um, yeah. Um, I would have joined up. Sorry. Uh, okay. No, no, that's right. Yeah, because it, it's all to take us to the to the one that releases, and the G doesn't release. Um, and then what you're going to do there? You've done it. Yeah. Okay. You notice how a lot of the things we're talking about are how you end these things. Yeah. Because those are the thing, the parts which I said at the beginning that I felt wasn't convincing. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's go on now. Now it's more convincing. Uh, Any way you like. Do -da. Can I go, can you go from that to what? Yeah. You know, always when you're going to cut something, mm -hmm. don't cut it so that we notice. Uh, it, it's not good. It's yeah. a, oh, yeah. you know, just play with, play with the one that, the one that you're going to have to cut, make it, a, make it a nice cut rather yeah. than, the, yeah, whatever you did, yeah. Okay, there was another one just before that maybe maybe go from there. Um, yeah. Okay, how about this? I don't want to hear Yeah. Or just uh, Okay. Wait. <laughs> yeah. That's right. There you go. So that you don't hear the cut, yeah. you know? That's perfect. And so on. Whether it's going to write for me if I do? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> because it's, that's, that's a, such an easy one for you. You still don't do them as well as everything else you're so much better at, and this is kind of below your lip. That's better, that's better. It'll, it'll come, I know it'll come, right? I know you'll work at it, because it's, it's not so difficult. You know, what would happen if I asked you to do this? Just to change the one. Three, put three. Just try that. Okay, it's still a little bit not. I like it, I like it. I don't, I don't think you need to do all of that. You know, you can do it with four, but it's got to sound like that. Okay, so why don't we go to this end stuff? Yeah. All the little cadence of it, yeah. when I talk about that. Okay, very good. You know, I know Tarrio was probably really good at these. I wonder if you can hear you just a little more, is it possible? Yeah. The, the beginning is nice. I can't remember my head, then you do it for me. Uh. You know the part, the part that I'm not hearing is the one that goes the, that one we're hearing, that one. Yeah, that's better. Okay, and when, I don't know if you, you do this, but when you're on the second string, kill the first. Yeah. That's better. Yeah, just a little bit more def definition yes. would be good. Well. Well, 
Iceland. <laughs> I wonder if they can notice it out there. <laughs> I, I think of, not of the guitarists, we all know that, but you know, I just think of somebody who's, someone's mum has come to the, your concert, and uh, are they going to hear that? Uh, I want to hear. I want that a little bit more noticeable. Yeah, so don't worry so much about that one. Worry oh. about that one. And then what notes do you have to play? Yeah, so maybe when you actually start the put down the, the oh, yeah. D, you, do you do that? Okay. Yeah, so see, I'm hearing a lot of ta 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 ta, but I'm not hearing ta ta ta. Ah, yes. So the problem is the, the, the hitting on one, yeah. right? C can you listen to mine? I'm going to actually change it to do the opposite. So you can hear that one louder, this one less. Yeah. Okay. Still too much F, not enough, yeah. but it's going to come, right? Um, What well, not notes do you have to play? You have to play D, D natural. D natural, D sharp, and B. Ah, that's pretty good. Well, try this. Not. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, the other one. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Isn't it? Okay, if it's not better, don't worry. But but consider practicing that one. You know, the, the the this is a little practice thing where you do this trill and then you play. Sorry, I'll do it. I'll... Sorry. No. Okay. Some people are really good at these sort of things. Yeah. But when I started doing these, oh, the same thing happened. You want to, and the other one starts going as well. But consider, consider, because I think, yeah. I think I get a better one high up, but still. Yeah. But, yeah. Okay, we've done that one now from the, that stuff there. nicer than before. Right? I think you shaped it better. You know, if some people are super fast, so they go, they just play it fast, and that's fine. If you, if you need stick in a couple of little slurs, you know, because it's much easier to go, um, that, you know, with one slur in every now and again. Whatever they are, you know. Now, and then, where's that position change? Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know, there's a certain element of virtuosity that you need to give here, and sometimes if if you can't play simply pure fast, then little bursts of speed have the same effect yeah. of virtuoso playing, you know, and so if you split it up, uh, you know, into little bits of like that, I think you'll get more of a sense of, of virtuosity that you're searching for. But that last time was pretty good, you know, you don't need to go as fast as, well, I said Yamashita, my friend, who was, you know, was the crazy fast, but now, pretty fast, yeah. yeah, there are lots of people now, young players that play so fast and comfortably fast, you know, which is great, but, this needs to be floating fast, not not angry fast. Mm. Yeah. Okay, one more idea, just that thing there, that trill. I'm not sure if it's possible, but so 
It's just that we all tend to have a better trill there than here. So. Consider it just you with with it, if it's good for your hand, then change that. You yeah. know, but if not, it's fine. Anyway, I think we've done lots of little details, but the general overall feeling was very nice. Just needed these. You know, there's a very typical Chopin-esque way of ending of the little things that sometimes you got, but sometimes you didn't get. Yeah. So I'm I'm sure you've listened to pianists and things to how are they doing that you know it's, for them it's much easier than for us it but still it doesn't mean we can't do it you know yeah. it's, a, it's to do with timing really than technique more than technique and I think if you get the timing right you're gonna get the endings better yeah okay thank you very much well done great <laughs> Lovely. great Okay, so well, congratulations to the players. You're all really good. Well done. So do you want to ask any questions? Do you want me to talk about anything, general things that, uh, that we've done today? Okay, so if you won't ask, I will answer un un unasked questions. <laughs> okay, so I, I had a hard go at, at you, Zachary, um, when we're talking about technique and things, you know, regardless of of the level that somebody is at, the technique gets in our musical way. You know, we want certain things out of our music, and if the technique's not doing it, then we have to find it. So, just like we were working just now, a lot of these things that were not quite as good as they could be are to do with technique, and sometimes even things that he could do, but because you get, you get used to not doing it quite so well, and you get, uh, doing these little, um, trickery to get round something, that sometimes it's better to re really demand it from your technique. That's why I, I work a lot on technique, so that musically I'm able to achieve what I want. You know, it's a, all these little things which I don't play the piece, but I can usually get my find my way around to get what I want musically because I do the technical work. You know. And so I'd advise all of you, you know, that it's really it's worth it. Every hour you put in, or every half hour, I wouldn't do more than half an hour, but every half hour you put in really makes a difference. And, you know, we've chosen an instrument which is uh, very difficult to achieve. It's actually easy to play easy stuff, but that, those difficult things that, that we're, we're learning to play, so like, they demand a whole lot of stuff out of us that... Uh, you know, sometimes people who could, could play much more musically, it doesn't happen for one reason or the other, right? So that's why I say, insist on the technique and say, well, how to, how, what to do? Well, Zelda, you know what we, could we talked about it during our time in Alicante, but did we do some technique in the morning? Some, every morning, yes. See, so, I, so I had these guys, you know, 12 or 15 guys studying with me for, for a, well, they were with me for a week and then with other teachers, and, and I was the first teacher. So and I didn't really know the level, you know, you have a whole group of people, and there were some players like you who played really well, and things, there were others that didn't play so well, and things. Who, so I, I wanted to do some techniques. So I was like, look, 9 o'clock or 9.30, let's all be here, and we just sit down and did technique together. Very basic stuff. But the idea was really, some of these things, uh, it's going to sound like a Nike, Nike advert, it's like, don't talk about it, you just do it. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and you slowly discover how, what, what things are good for you. But basically, almost every problem you can reduce down to, to the, the very basic element, usually maybe one or two difficulties stuck together. Right? So if one of these difficulties is not working very well, then the combination is going to be a disaster. You know, so, so you need to separate things and work on the elements. And the way I think of it is, is, I think of the technique almost like a group of building blocks. And you set them up, and each building block is a certain technical element. 
And if one is not great, okay, you can get by with one not there. And then, then, so you, then you have the second row of bricks and the third row of bricks, but this thing is still didn't work here. And at some point, pfft, suddenly it gets in your way. So if you haven't resolved some things, the nasty, ugly head will pop up in your pieces at some point. So you say, well, what, what do we need to resolve? Well, discipline your left hand. You know, people who have flappy, loose left hands, it's much more difficult, you know. So the more disciplined your left hand is, the more accurate you're going to be. And accuracy is 10 times more important than strength. You know, some guitarists say, oh, do exercises to get strong. Useless. It's much better to be accurate <laughs> because you don't need that much strength to hold down a string, right? It's like it's very little. You need a bit more to hold down a bar. But even that, if you hold down a bar badly, it'll always buzz, no matter how much strength you have. It's more to do with the accuracy of placing everything in the right place. So uh, when I do the morning thing, you want, uh, you, want to, uh, ah, you had that great name, but toy Teubo, okay, Teubo. Uh, because we talked about your upper note, it doesn't come out as well as your lower one, right? So, and you say, is, why is that coming out more than yours? It's not because I'm stronger, it's because I hit it a little bit faster. Right? If you hit it strong, but slow, nothing comes out. So, you, light and fast. Now, if you hit that, then your hand gets used to exactly hitting. And if, if you do it enough times every morning, the chances of it going wrong are less and less. The chances of it going right are, are increased all the time. Right, so we do a little bit of that. And I'm going to um, Zachary's bit. We were talking about coordination, so we talked about... So I would say do five minutes or whatever you want on the left hand, then do five minutes of the right hand. Just so it's not boring, I'll play different notes, but I'm just doing I am. And then I do M-I. It's a little bit lazier. Let's make them right. So I am. That's really tight. Now try to do M-I. Make sure that they're the same. Then little groups of three. Make sure, you, don't go faster than you need, but really clean and really precise. Then starting with M, and so on. Then groups of four, groups of five, groups of six. Once you've done a couple of minutes of that, things, maybe you can do it on a few arpeggios if you want, or whatever. And then you put them together. And this is the, sort of the basic building blocks of coordination, right? Uh, I've said this other times, so I'll, it's worth it. Uh, most people can go like this, up to that speed, say. And most people can go more, you know, more or less, uh, up to that speed. But then, especially, let's do it with three, four. And then you ask them to go. It's a disaster <laughs> sometimes. So just getting fast and getting fast is not enough you have to put it together so once you've got this one and now but instead of doing a long one it's better to do short ones and then Etc. So go through, build up through your half hour technique, through all of those basic things that you will have to do in your piece. Then when we're talking about trills and ornaments, because it came up a few times today, um, of course you do, you do those. And then do the ones where you stick down another note. And then this one, you put one there and you go, Right? And 
build up, you, you like invent hundreds of them. You, 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 some people have put them in books, but it's really boring to open a book and read what some of the others are. No, just invent it yourself. It's much more fun. And invent all the different combinations. I mean, there's really no point in, in doing those ones because, he, I mean, you'll get arthritis too soon. No, it's, it's, it, there's no point. Just do the basic ones, you know. And if you've done the basic ones, when you play your piece of music, most of them you'll have practiced. You're, it'll have been part of your technique already. So when you read it, once you've learned that it's got to go, you've practiced that. You know, you, so you don't need to, as you're playing, you, help. <laughs> you don't need to worry about it because basically you're going to do it. You know, I mean, right enough. You can still go wrong, but most of those little ornaments are going to be resolved. Like, you know, in, in your Chopin, you've got lots of them to do, you know. So, especially that, like those long trills when you, uh, and with the XL, you know, th those are not easy to do. So your hand doesn't really want to do it, like when we were doing the one, and the, uh, the wrong thing, you know, your hand does not, the brain sends the wrong messages. So clean them up by, by practicing that separately, you right? um, know. I sometimes practice scales, but usually I practice parts of a scale. So if I'm going to do C major, I'll go. And then longer one. And so on, and then change key. And you know, do your scales at that, in, but usually in small bits. You don't. I mean, for for your exams, you have to go. <gasps> don't breathe until you get to the end. <laughs> okay, you, that's just for the exam because that's that. Okay, your technique will get better if you do that, but that's too many problems together, right? So isolate and do the individual problems separately if you can. Uh, one other thing that came up just a little bit, but very small, but, uh, was a position change and things, you know. So you need to practice them, you know. Um, many people do. You know, but the best way is actually just to do a simple one. And you know, just don't make them too complicated. Make sure that the, the basic ones work, where you're going to move down or move up to a one. And then later, that was to move to a two. And then the basic ones moving down, the, the most difficult one is to move down onto four. You know? So you need to practice it, because you might have to do it. You know? Go ahead. Well, the ones at the university are the ones that have to do it because they've decided to spend their life doing this. <laughs> the ones that are just enjoying it, uh, maybe not. But, you know, the thing is, um, it, I think at all levels, if, if you have students that are young or older, if, it's a bit like if you are a tennis coach, you, they don't just play tennis. You, you, ha you have to actually practice certain movements and repeat that movement many, many times until it works, right? So this is kind of the same as a sport. And I think if the student can learn to approach it and learn to enjoy it like a sport, like it's, it's not, I mean, the ultimate reason is for music. Just like you, if you want to, if you, well, okay, I, I like to play golf. I mean, and to be honest, I love going and just playing with my friends. But I don't get any better doing that. Whereas if I go and I hit balls and I hit, you know, 40 wedges trying to do 75 yards again and again and again, I learn that shot. So when I'm on the course, there's that one, and I've got it. So I want technique 
that is there, available for me. So that's why I, I would suggest whether they are young students or older students, you know, the people at universities and people who are professionals, you know, they need to do it. We, me, I'm a professional, I suppose. So I need to do the technique as well because it, uh, it maintains my, uh, my tools, you know, the, the, the things that I'm going to use to make music. I need to do this. Just think of a ballet dancer. How many hours of just like pure stretching and things then to get on stage and do a couple of things, you know? It's, uh, it's, we're sort of like that, except that the, the balance is less, less technique, less pure physical stuff, but we need to do it. So my, my suggestion would be if, if you're teaching somebody, regardless of whether they are going to university or they are beginners, I think it would be nice if the teacher can encourage the students to enjoy this part of our life, you know? That, I mean, I was showing you some of the things I do, but one of the things that I try and do is I make it different every day or more or less different. Um, and I feel that if we don't enjoy the, the physical work, by the, the technique in this case, then it's really quite hard to develop. You get better by playing your pieces, but you don't get that much better. You, don't, you, you need to go down to the actual detail and say, why didn't that sound good? Or why didn't this little bit work? And then they say, it's because of my technique, it didn't do it. <laughs> and so you work at it. Now, if you're working with, say, students who are eight, nine, 10, or something, yeah, I think there are ways of encouraging them to enjoy the pure, technical exercise, you know, little kids, they'll like anything if you give it to them with enthusiasm and if they take it with enthusiasm. So I would say both the beginners and the people who have decided, if you're at university, you've decided to spend your life doing this, well, you better be good at it, <laughs> you know, because if not, you'll be a mediocre, <laughs> right? Go ahead. Uh, well, I'm a Suzuki teacher, as you, as you know, uh, this repetition is the most important words we have there. Yeah. Yeah, repetition is a strange thing because sometimes you say, well, why repeat it? In fact, you can already do it. But you repeat it so that your body learns how to do exactly this again, again and again, you know? And actually in French rehearsal, they call it repetition. <laughs> Let's just repeat this a few more times, but better, hopefully. Yeah, so I think the big thing is how to approach it in such a way that people enjoy it, whether they're children or older people or, you know, older amateurs, say somebody who is like 50 years old and decides to, or 60 and they've retired or something and they're going to play, they, okay, it's fun just to play, but it's, you know, it's more fun if you play better. <laughs> so why not, why not work at it a little bit, you know, to get these things to work and so that, yeah, even if it's basic stuff. Ciao Petri, have fun, see you later. And so, so that's my, my feeling is that I think the teachers, one of their, um, think one of the things they must do is share their enthusiasm so that the student, regardless of the age, enjoys all of these things. Because if you don't enjoy it, it's not, you know, you're not going to do it. Um, I mean, I'm, I suppose you could use the opposite, you know, I say, if you don't do this, you know, you, you won't get breakfast. Well, I, you know, I don't know, but <laughs> it doesn't really work for me. It, it works for me to, to, the encouragement works better than uh, the whip, but who knows? I'm not sure if I completely answered your question, but that's basically the way I feel it. Any other things? Go ahead. No, I, no I, think, I think I'm preparing. Yeah, okay. But the amount of time I, I'm on the string is, depends on what I want to do. I, I, don't, I don't think, you know, it's, it's a mental thing because the end result is, this, is very similar. You know, when, you, when you're with, with uh, somebody who says, oh, I play, I hit the string, or I, put my, I think of putting my finger down and plucking. So I think of, I think like that, but then you reduce the amount of time you're on the string.
and I'm doing that, but I'm, I'm still thinking of... which is the preparation. And, but it does depend also on what kind of interpretation you're aiming at. You know, if you want something to sound very... Uh, well, kind of mysterious... Uh, there's no preparation. I mean, the preparation is, I don't use my thumb. I, I did it all just with the fingers. So that's all very much almost off the string, right? But uh, the advantage of learning to do the... And maybe when you were there, we, we, we talked about that... Um, about doing that because as not for everybody quite a lot of people have the bouncy hand and things like that and preparation sometimes helps to get rid of that also if you've learned to use the preparation you're much better at stopping strings and at using the articulation you know if you've if you've uh, say you, you want to do that you need to have learned how to prepare To do that. So yeah, I, I learned to prepare. Actually, you know, when I was still studying in London and um, I'd never even heard the whole thing about preparation and I went to a master class, well, actually a week long thing with John Williams and he said, my father told me to prepare. <laughs> and so I thought, oh, what's this? <laughs> I'd never done it before and I thought it was really interesting. Although he, when he talks, he sometimes says, no, he, he doesn't stop the string, he hits the string. But he does both, you know. So I think the person who is a preparer needs to learn to not prepare, and the one who never prepares needs to learn to do it. We should do both, you know. And right enough, when you do apoyando, you probably prepare less. You know, you hit, just go. That one is more of a hitting stroke. If you if you use a lot of that, I don't think of preparation when I'm when I'm doing an apoyando. If I do that, I don't think of of stopping them, you know. Whereas, yeah, the faster it goes, the less you prepare. Okay, that's it's an interesting. See, if you do this, this is not preparing. Now I'm going to prepare every next note. It's going to sound pretty much the same, but I feel that I get much more definition in it if I do that little bit of preparation. So, no preparation. Preparation. Especially if you want to go off loud. I'm preparing more on those. So, anything else you'd like to talk about? <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> yeah, but uh, what we discussed all, all of us would be interested to know about your own career when you developed your technique and uh, which time you did develop this technique you have had already uh, decades ago. Okay, when did it develop? Well, <laughs> well I learned when I was very young. And, but I was very messy. And so I was kind of like fast and messy. <laughs> and, uh, and I probably wasn't very fast, but it, it seemed fast. Uh, and so when I, when I got to London to study, when I was 16, 17, that sort of age, um, yeah, suddenly I saw people playing much cleaner, because I'd really learned alone at home. My father was teaching me, so I, I didn't have a lot of contact with other guitarists until I was in London. And there also, we all got to see a lot of jo John Williams and Julian Bream and see them play. They were, they were playing lots of concerts. That's in the 70s. And uh, I was also, I was living in, in the house, uh, the violinist's house, the violinist was, he was the first, the first violin of the English Chamber Orchestra 
and the leader of the New Philharmonia, which is now called the London Philharmonia. So he, he's a fantastic, wonderful musician. And there were many, many musicians in his house, coming and going, they were rehearsing, string quartets and all that. So I, was, I lived in the basement. And so for those 10 years or 10 or 12 years I lived there, I got to go and listen to these people. Now, uh, Manny Hurwitz, the, the violinist, he, he lived, his uh, music room was, I lived below it, so it was up there. Every morning he did technique. <laughs> he, 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 he got up and he went, da -li -li, da -li -li, da -li, you know, a lot of just basic stuff, the violin stuff, you know, the bowing and listening to his tuning and intonation, etc. You know, every day he did, did that. He didn't play pieces. Then he, then he would read because he was mostly playing in string quartets or that, you know. And I got to see just the level of what is necessary to be a professional musician. <laughs> and these people were the top musicians in London coming there. And boy, I was way, way below that, even though I could play some Bach suites and do some stuff that, you know, but still it was pretty rough in comparison to the general level. So I worked really hard and I worked especially hard when I left the, the academy. I finished, I finished the academy in 1974, four or five more or less. Um, when I finished there, you know, when you're studying at, an, at a place like that, you feel a little bit protected, you know, and you think, oh, I'll be here forever, you know. And then suddenly you're in the open air, you know, open world, and uh, you have to somehow make a living out of this. And so I started this technique study, studying my pure, pure technique, and mostly because of a friend who was a double bass player who had been studying with Gary Carr. And when he came back, he was so much better. And I said, well, Dennis, what are you doing? And I said, oh, I do these little studies. I do these wee bits, you know, and he was Scottish. And uh, so he was showing me what he was doing. But basically, I, what I, when I show you how to do these little things that when we did there in Alicante and other places, it's basically what Dennis was doing, but adapted to this. That is basically re reduced to the minimum. And when I did that for a couple of years, my technique and my playing just got much, much better. And then I went in for some competitions and I won some, so you, you know, things got good. So when I came to Tampere, or, no, to um, uh, Tamisari or Caris and things, see, so I was probably over 30 then, I'm kind of guessing, maybe maybe 35 years old, I'm kind of guessing it was. Um, maybe 30 years, yeah. So by then, things had started, you know, I was playing lots of concerts and things, and my, my confidence was much more. This is something we didn't talk about today, but actually, confidence is totally vital. You know, the people who, are, who lack confidence, they get nervous on stage. Well, we all get nervous, but if you're, if you are not convinced of your ability, you're not saying, you know, I know I can do this, even if it doesn't work, but I know I can do it. You need to get to that, and that's quite hard to get to, because you need to have a series of good experiences. And if you've had enough good experiences, that is, you've played well enough times for the public, you kind of say, I can do this, you know? If not, if you've had too many bad experiences, inside you say, I can't do this, <laughs> you know, <laughs> which is not the right. So I think by the time I'd, I, we met, um, I, I'd played lots of concerts by then. So in some ways, I was well prepared. Another phrase, which you can mark down, be well prepared, regardless of your level, because you just never know when you might, there might be somebody who might book you, you know, might, they might hear you, you're playing in a party, and, and if you play really badly, that guy's I'm not going to have them for my concert. <laughs> but if you play really well, they might say, hmm, interesting, you know, and book you, you know. So uh, when you're a young player, you need to be prepared and always have a good repertoire set up, regardless of, you know, the pieces that you're learning, okay, you have to spend all the time, but also have, have a repertoire of stuff that you can really play well, even if they're easy pieces, you know, and you need to have them because you never know when it's going to happen. So this is all connected to how I think my, my playing got much better between the ages of 20 and 24, around about that time, because I, I practiced like crazy at that time because I suddenly really realized I need to be better to be able to be on a, on a level with other musicians. You know? So, 
And you say, how do you do it? Well, I don't know. I mean, it, it, it's true that some people's fingers don't move as fast as others, or some people are less accurate. Thing, but you have to work more at it, you know, and just make sure also to choose the repertoire that you do well and reject the stuff that you don't do well. You know, don't place things that show what you can't do. You choose the things that show that you can do, the things that you do nicely. And I think if, if players who reach, I would say, a medium good level, if they choose the repertoire well, they are really good. <laughs> if they choose the repertoire badly, they're not so good. <laughs> you know? So there are certain pieces that I'm just never going to play because they demand certain things from me, whether it's technique or whether it's my way of thinking. I just don't do them well, so I'm not going to do it. You know? But as a young player, you have to do everything. <laughs> and then at some point, you get the chance that, okay, now I, I can do what I want. And you just choose the things that show your best side. So that's to all you young guys who are dedicating your time to this. You know, that means, you know, it's, this, is, this is really important. It's the most important thing. And uh, so by choosing the right repertoire, I think, I think you can each show which part of you is interesting for the people to listen to. OK? Let's leave it then. OK, thank you very much. Thank you. Very kind. Great. Thank you very much. Great.